Welcome oh. to the floor. It <laughs> goes the nut. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today we're going to be playing Atari ah, 8-bit games. That's exciting. It is very exciting. Computer games. Uh, we've got three games today, and they are, if I can bring up my notes in time, uh, the first one's Crownland. Um, Bit of a throwback to 2007, this one, because uh, I ran across and went, That's, I want to play that game on the show. It looks cool. It's a uh, platformer, so I thought it would look cool. Uh, be cool to play that one. And two new games, uh, Gold Diggers and a Binary Parasite. Um, we had played both of them on the show previously, but they were earlier versions, and now they've been extremely extended. Um, but we will extremely get extremely extended, extremely much more to these games now. Uh, but first, uh, oh, 10 second rule in effect. Yeah, for Darcy. Yeah, he ate it. You ate it? No, I put it over here. Oh, he didn't eat it. Yeah, so it was on the floor too long. Um, <laughs> Twitch subscribers, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers crawling beside Darcy here in virtual space. Al the Fur Arms Guard Coder, Atari 74, Atari H, Atari's Maximus, Beef, Supreme Bear, Pocock, Charles Dunmail, Charles Whelan, Chitlala, Cole Patch, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Dino, Identity, Daryl 970, Dr. Moo, Cows, Gamma, Dev, Gamma, Glenn, Main, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Rosie Rapper, Johnny W.C., Kabuto, Enzo, uh, Kabuto, Kenzo, Carl G., Ken Jennings, Invader, Kelly, uh, Kev Kelly, Croco, Lambda Express, Long TDZ, Mark Johannes, uh, Mark Johannes, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mother 3, Master Zarna, Will Best to Fix, Muddy Funster, Nostalgic, Packer, Vigi Quag, R. Amon, CRC70, Render Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Spam, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Sledgehammer, Smitty B, Spice, Where Esther Mirrors, Teleprompter, Tiki Dan, K, Tifos, Track MD, VVG, Double Down, X, Ken X, and uh, uh, Darcy might uh, show you how to subscribe to the show. Mm. Uh, you just get out your uh, phone or computer and you go to um, beep, boop, 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 Twitch, beep, 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 boop, boop. dial in the telephone number to Twitch, <laughs> uh, listen Send to the your movie listings. Send your social security number to... That's right. Uh, <laughs> your first car, uh, name of your first pet, the street you lived on, and uh, go to Twitch. And it's free if you link it to Amazon Prime. And you can and uh, turn your volume down or James gets mad. Well, we don't need to hear ourselves. Um, and you subscribe. And uh, what Darcy has found out is <laughs> you cough, then you shut down <laughs> Twitch, and then you log back in, and it'll actually show up. That's what, how it works for Darcy. Anyway. For me, anyways, am I? And dumb for fun. Tanya, too. I don't know if it does that for anybody else. Um, I have a poll question. If it works, it was being a little cagey before the show, but I got to type it in. It's going to work. It did. Oh, my God. Um, the poll question is, where did you get the majority of your non-homebrew Atari cartridges, if you have any? Uh, answer one, retail stores during their original release. That's super old school. Uh, number two, used game stores. Number three, flea markets. Number four, garage sales. Number five, online Zero, options. Eight, oh, Thank you to Drexel for resubscribing for 25 months. Number five, online auctions like eBay or... Yeah, eBay. Uh, I guess I guess Craigslist can go into that as well because that's like online. Um, uh, number <coughs> six, Atari Age forums. Because uh, there's a lot of uh, people trading, selling stuff on Atari Age forums. Or seven other. I could have missed one. I don't know. I got the majority of my at least 2,600, 5,200, 7,800 games uh, at flea markets back in the mid-90s, early to late 90s. Um, but then I, I'd never found them really at garage sales because garage sales are random. You yeah. don't know what is going to be there. And they're not selling a game. They're selling Stuff. all this. Like, the whole. you have to buy the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't want to part it out because they don't care. They just want to get rid of it for the price they want to get rid of it for. Mm -hmm. um, for some amount of money that seems like they did good. Yes, they're happy with it. You're happy with it. Um, I did, I've never really bought it at used game stores very much. I bought some. Um, usually because the prices are like, they have to pay for the store 
So they have to put up a little bit more than say online auctions. Online auctions are a little bit more expensive than say at, um, oh, conventions. Ooh, I missed that one. I bought a yes, that's from, number seven. Yeah, number <laughs> seven is conventions. I bought a number from conventions, but I wouldn't say the majority. Very close. I would say it's second. Because I think they have the lowest overhead at conventions. They pay for the table. Oh. Um, and then they're done, right? It's not... Uh, and it's a target, target, target market, right? Everybody that goes there is interested in retro games or gaming. Yeah, yeah. So it's super target. You know you're going to sell if you uh, price it well. Uh, inherited from friends. Oh, yes, that's uh, another one. That's I also missed. number seven. That's also number seven as well. Uh, speaking of conventions, uh, Tanya and I are going to be at the uh, Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo uh, coming up. It's on uh, June 24th. So if you're in the Vancouver area, uh, we won't be do I won't be doing a panel this year. I did a panel last year. Um, but this year I'm not doing a panel because, um, we just don't have time. Uh, I want to do one. I think I talked about this before. I want to do one on homebrew, like, uh, inception to release the, mm. the, uh, the timeline of a homebrew, I guess. I don't know what I'd call it. Maybe next year. That might be fun to do. Um, do it at uh, VRGE or PRG. I doubt I'd be accepted at PRG, but you never know. They've got some pretty good speakers there. But I did want a VRG, so I, I think at least I can he do it is, there. Um, Portland. Portland, yeah. Yeah. So if I practice it at VRG <laughs> and tape it and do well, and then I could show it to them, and they go, oh, that's that's barely passable. <laughs> so we'll let you in, and you can if somebody, say your If thing. somebody else is sick. If they drop out, you know, they, they desperately need last minute, they're going to message me like the day before and they go uh we got a space uh, uh, people are here uh, uh, i guess <laughs> we'll give you a try if people don't riot then maybe it's okay um so yeah if you're in the vancouver area which i doubt you are i know there's some people on the atari age forums uh, from vancouver uh but the, of course the majority are in the u.s so maybe seattle it's not a terrible uh, it's pretty good um, retro gaming expo. It's getting bigger and bigger every year. It's in a really nice convention center in New Westminster mm. at the Anvil Anvil Center. It's really huge, multi-level floors. Um, near SkyTrain? Very near the SkyTrain, so it's mm. super handy for people who live in the Lower Mainland. Uh, Midwest Gaming Classic. A lot are very far away from us. <laughs> a lot of conventions. But we would like to get to some other ones on the east coast and you know florida and middle of the u.s but we would have to fly there and i'd like to make it in conjunction with something else like a concert or something else we'd like to do at the place at the same time maybe get the wildfires under control before the gaming conventions uh luckily uh in vancouver we haven't uh, felt the smoke here yet I thought earlier I in the year we did like a month ago or something really I didn't notice it. It wasn't. A, it it was like I would cross the water, and you could see it was smoke, but it didn't last very long. Okay. I thought, oh, it started early. <laughs> it, it will happen May. here. It will happen. Yep. Uh, just rest of the country is on fire, but uh, even even BC is on fire, but it hasn't. The smoke hasn't come here. We're uh, we've got big fans, and we're directing it all to the U.S. at the moment. Mm. But when the fans run out of power, then the smoke will just kind of drift around Canada a bit more. No, it's, it's really bad here in Canada. So um, anybody out there in U.S. or Canada, um, hopefully you're doing okay. It's, uh, yeah, 16 states in the U.S. have air advisory warnings. So if you look at the the uh, the air streams, they all seem to be like going south and then they head out to the water. And they're going as far as Europe, the smoke. Wow. And um, Greenland and Iceland. And uh, like Northern Europe. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really bad. Lousy management scheduling the fires the same time as conventions. I mean, one or the other really should have looked at the schedule beforehand or at least coordinated beforehand and go, okay, well, we could put the fires 
on the next weekend or the weekend before and it makes it a lot easier yeah we need more volcanoes erupting mm. and then things will cool down a bit <laughs> and then fewer yeah fires. you know blanket the earth in a in an even covering mm -hmm. so it blocks sulfur, out the I sun think. and yeah. sulfur yeah it doesn't smell very good though yeah but up there you don't smell it at all uh no if the sulfur stays high mm -hmm. that's true uh, that's where it does its, its dirty work so I don't that's all the news really but there's a game that I wanted to just kind of show off not really play because it's not really playable I bet the webcam froze nope is it here you go oh run run cat um so this is a, a work in progress oh Darcy hasn't seen this joystick yet uh it is super cool as you can see mm -hmm. it's made by double down who is in the chat right now there he is uh he nice. gifted it to uh gifted it to us for the fifth uh five-year anniversary nice. of zero page so he made a custom uh joystick um it is uh serial number zero zero one Ooh. and it has two buttons um the first button is the normal one button for the uh Atari. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be playing it with the Atari 8-bit, which also uses one button, just like Commodore 64, so that would work with Commodore 64 as well. Mm -hmm. 2600. But the second button is assignable ah, with this switch. switch. Okay. You can assign it to up, down, left, right, or as a second button, because remember, sometimes we have put in the yeah, Genesis yeah, yeah. controller. Yeah. So this is Genesis controller compatible as the second button, so you switch it to button two. Um, and some games have, okay, you have jump and fire. Mm -hmm. And you're like, okay, well, we only have one button. It's either gonna be jump or fire, and then they put up for the as other As one thing. of them. As one of them, and it depends on usually what you do and more. nobody likes it. Nobody likes it. That's why there's <laughs> second button and stuff. And joysticks like this. So this is going to actually work for us today because there is a game where there is jumping and firing. So we're going to sign it to up today. Or you can assign it to off so it doesn't interfere with anything. Super cool. And it looks awesome, too. And there's a button that doesn't do anything, so don't press it. It does something. No, don't press it. It turns it off. No, it doesn't do anything. Not effective. I think it must do something. <laughs> because otherwise you wouldn't be so adamant that I not touch don't it. Don't press it. Don't press that button that does nothing. Because it does nothing. <laughs> I'll be very upset if you waste your time pressing a button that does nothing. <laughs> um, so this... Feel free to continue doing all the other things that are unimportant and accomplish nothing, but don't, don't do don't, that. Don't press that side button. Uh, there's a game that is being worked on for the 8-bit uh, system, and it is Popeye. So you can load it up. Um, it is XEX. And it is XCX. made for the VBXE. XEX is like an executable, and the ATR is like uh, a disk image. What came first, EXE or XEX? <laughs> Probably EXE. Ah, okay. But I'm not sure. Maybe XEX. Um, so this is Popeye for the Atari 8-bit, and it looks super awesome. And it's made by uh, WOJ, and his goal is to make it pixel perfect to the arcade version using the advanced graphics add-on, hmm. VBXE add-on. Um, and uh, he's got just about everything in the game except for the enemies. So he's got all the levels. He's got the pathfinding on the levels for the stairs. And the, um, and he's got the... Uh, and he doesn't have any sound, though. So you can press the first button, and you can show off the game. So this is the first level. It looks absolutely amazing doing an intro without music so he's got the timing for the intro and the animation for the intro um he's got the spinach um and he's using an interlaced um to get higher resolutions how do you jump uh there is no jump in popeye oh. there is upstairs and there's punch up and down the stairs um so you can punch the punching bag which drops the bucket slash radiator i'm not sure what exactly it is and you can punch the spinach to become super popeye there you go and to get to the next level he doesn't drop the hearts yet but you can press c i don't know why i picked c but 
There you go. And you can do the C to get the hearts to go to the next level, because usually olive oil drops the parts. Radiator bucket. There you go. Why does it jitter so much? Yeah, interlace. So he's able to use interlace to get the super high resolution, which I don't know if the trade-off is worth it. Uh, I'd have to see the non-interlace version that he would show. The interlacing is just on like the players, <laughs> like Sweepy, the Moon, Wimpy, and Popeye. Um, but the background is not interlaced. Nostalgic says, this is really impressive. It It is absolutely impressive. And the fact that he's going for Woo! pixel perfect, which I guess forced his hand to use interlace. This one, you get notes dropping down. So let's do the notes. There you go. And we can see level three. Uh, I first posted about the project on February 16th, 2023. I'm actually a bit hesitant to start the topic and not to jinx it. And that early in the project too, but I figured it would be motivate me to go on with this. My plan is to do a one-to-one -one replica of Arcade Popeye on VBXE. Preliminary research tells me that using the 480i mode <coughs> by Rybags, it can be done. And uh, so far, it looks absolutely astounding. Like really, 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 really nice. So I'm looking forward to the next step, which I'm pretty sure is actually putting in the enemies. This one, you build the ladder to the top, and up goes the ladder as you collect uh, letters as they fall down. Da -da 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 -da. And you get the Popeye star. Woo! Woo doo -doo. Um, then it loops back to level one. So I thought that was super cool, and I wanted to show that off at this stage. It does look amazing. Even though it's it's not. I mean, it's playable, not, but not fully playable. Oh my god, it's red. Went into um, screensaver in the background. How do you go back? Uh, left and button. There you go. So the first game we are going to play is Crownland from 2007, but uh, I think I have something to show first. Yeah, so leave it on there. And we're gonna... Oh, people can hear it, but not see it. Well, there's the title screen, but I wanted to show you um, that there was a remake for the of this game in 2018 on the Atari ST. So let's switch over to that and just look at that briefly before we start playing it. There we go. 2018? Did I get that right? Yeah. Okay. So here it is, uh, news on Indie, Indie Retro News about uh, Crownland Atari ST version work in progress. Um, so let's just take a quick look at that. And this is not, this from scratch. So they didn't use any of the code. Same music, recreated as well. Let me just make this full screen. Poor snail. Yep. Poor <laughs> star. <laughs> and poor main character. <laughs> he fell into the water. <laughs> so it is a platformer, as you can see, and you can jump on the creatures on the. Ground. I do have to say that snail looks like the least offensive uh, <laughs> monster, like ever. It's fast for a snail. I know, but it doesn't look like it's going to do anything bad no. to you. So it, has it feels no like you're abusing snail. It has no spikes. It has no bitey teeth. Uh, it looks fairly cute. So it's, it's a platformer with great graphics and great music. So let's look back to the Atari. Uh -oh. A mistake was made, an error! <gasps> On the game? No. Oh. oh, in the play. In the play? In the oh, play. Oh, yeah. That happens. Okay. <laughs> oh, before we uh, switch, we'll let people uh, vote some more. Okay, time to play. Let's put on music from this game again. Let's do it. So this is made by... Are my uh, buttons set up properly? Yes. 
I believe up is jump, so it's the second button, but um, it might be the first button. Just have to find out. So this was originally made uh, in 2006, a preview version. Oh, the colors are weird. No, no, no. Let me reset this. That's not gonna... That's not oh, gonna because pop. the screen is being all weird. Yeah, I think it's Popeye left a bad taste in uh, Tari's <laughs> mouth. And it didn't. <laughs> and there's nothing in that game to reset whatever made that red. So that's fine. This, my friends, my developer friends, is why you initialize everything. <laughs> Not just go, defaults are fine. See that? See? That's what it's supposed to look like. Much better. So there's uh, inertia. Yeah, a little bit of inertia. Not much. Ah! No double jumps. Every turn of you. I'm trying <laughs> to play the game without criticism. Failure! <laughs> oh, you got hit. Oh, you and I can't get up there because I made an error. No, no, I think you can. And it is but you can't in go back. the style of... There's no going back. There's no going back. There's no going back in ground forward. <laughs> in the style of uh, Super Mario Brothers 1, where you can't go back. Well, you can't, you can't scroll back. You yeah. can go back. So there was a preview version of this, uh, of single level Oh no, again! Failures! That you did screw up. That's the screw up that the demo did that I commented on. Uh, so I should have known better. See, because there's a big star up there. Yeah, I see it. I see it. So this, uh, this need game... need to rub it in. <laughs> this game is on PAL, which is why I got a PAL system. Um, yeah, I think I tried. You could try it off that block. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Um, and then this a ter a pterodactyl version was uh, put uh -oh. into the. I think you can jump. No! On it. Jump on that, despite the it's spikiness. It's spiky. Of I think you can jump on it though. All right. Well, we'll find out when I die, and I'll look at you. <laughs> menacing eyes, squinty, menacing eyes. Uh, this took second place in the ABBUC Software Contest 2007. Um, with a one, uh, no, with this version actually. Um, but unfortunately, they never continued on with the game. There is uh, some uh -oh. little bugs in it where you can see it flickers a bit. If you go on, like, like there, you can see this. That is not a hard wall. Those are platforms you can fall off of. Deadly. Is that what happened? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so this is made by uh, Peter Wiz... Wiz... Nues... <laughs> Wiznewski? Oh. Adam uh, Pauroznik for the graphics and Mateus Witness Wiznewski for the music. Uh, and uh, Peter also made uh, Joe's Adventure. Back here, Snail. Atari oh no! Oh, he oh came it's going back. back. Oh. Ah, wait! Oh, I have to jump off him. You gotta jump when you're on this now. I think so. You no, know, no, you're, you're, you <laughs> must. Oh. Too late. Look, don't judge me. Darcy's <laughs> turning into Burgess <laughs> Meredith. In what way? Yeah, what way? Who's Burgess <laughs> Meredith? Uh, he's an actor. <laughs> I know the name, but I, I'm failing Ooh. to put a face to it now. Um, let's see. Here's a review of the the game from 2007. The Penguin. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll get you, Batman. <laughs> uh, here's a review from t December 2007 of the RGCD issue number four. It doesn't seem that long ago that I was left in a state of awe after playing last. Oh Lazistic. no! La Resistance's preview version of Crownland is featured back in the debut issue of RC RGCD. I remember having doubts as to whether a full version would ever be forthcoming. Uh, but here we have it. A copy of the final build? I don't think so. Of the game is entered in the 2007 uh, competition. In a nutshell, Crownland is a slickly produced Mario style <laughs> run and gun game for the Atari 8 bit. And I'm excited to say that it's a massive improvement. 
<laughs> There's no going back in the Crown Lands. The, that's the who I was thinking more of his appearance in Rocky. Oh, he's the trainer in Rocky too. That's where I know him from more so. Got it. Oh. Getting tricky with the snail. Oh, well, at least I... Oh, no, give me that oh, star. Oh, no, just... star, I can see a star. Don't do this to me, star. Just out of reach. But you can get those up above if you jump back. No. It says, I don't care What's about that? those stars. Oh, you could have jumped off that ledge. Oh, uh, I forgot about ones. that. Yeah. Um, and I'm so excited to say it's a massive improvement over the already excellent preview. In fact, I'd be bold to say that Crownland is Machine's best platform game to date. With its superb visuals and fast-paced console quality gameplay, it's almost worth of being described as the Atari equivalent of Mayhem in Monsterland for the Commodore 64. All the issues that I had with the original demo have been addressed. The controls feel a lot tighter. The temporary soundtrack has been replaced with a more suitable score. And most importantly, the preview's initial rock-hard difficulty has been fixed. Has it been fixed? Uh, yeah, no, I, I'm just sucking. This is not, <laughs> uh, this is not outrageously difficult. Uh, thanks to the considerably fairer learning curve, the game's early levels no longer confront... Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, 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 no skunky. Get out of there. Skunky? Yeah, he looks like a skunk with his floofy tail. And he didn't even crawl under a, a recently whitewashed fence. <laughs> no. Nope. Then he would look like a skunk. Then he definitely would. And then he'd be chased by. Uh... It's treat time. Oh. Yum. Yum. It's yum. treat uh -oh. time. Oh, and Darcy's in for a treat as well because uh -huh. we have added. Uh oh. I better get the rules time. before I start something here. Uh, no new rules. Okay. Just a scoreboard. Oh, that's cool. So let's get up the cat cam. Look at that. Darcy. ZPH Treat oh. Tournament. Hey, do you want this bell over here? There you go. Let's reset the points. Thank you to Al Nefer. <laughs> That's one for Sprite and Atari. Yeah, they both got one. Nice. See and it's see? Atari was first. See the scores go up? Yeah. Oh, Atari. Sprite. Ari is slightly in the lead by ringing. Oh, I didn't uh, add sprites. There we go. 3 2 for Atari. Did he ring us yet? Mm. Oh. Atari is ahead. Oh, now he's pulling ahead. 4 3. Oh, sprite too light on the touch there. There he's we go. A, he's getting a case of lazy paw, which Atari. is actually Atari's. Usually Atari's problem he, is Atari's lazy paw. Atari's doing a bang up job. Oh, sprite is catching up now. Oh, Tari is still ahead, 6-5. Oh, he's just spinning the top. Oh, he gets it. Sprite is... Oh, Atari's still... Still ahead. Oh, not anymore. Sprite is now catching up. Tari's eating very fast. He's not taking it out to the hall. Because the door is not closed. And... and Darcy's That's two Darcy Bells. Darcy is feeding the cat. Oh, now he's taking it out to the hallway. No good. It is 9-9, nine, nine, and Darcy is slow on feeding Sprite. But he hasn't dinged. He did. He did. I heard it. And... Let me go back. No! Oops. What? It's... Was that not... Oh, well, okay. I, I thought it was over. He was coming for it. And now, because of judge interference... Oh, Sprite wins because of judge interference. It's not judge interference, it's judge ignorance. Oh, I, Atari I totally had that. Atari had it. Wait, Atari had what? The game. He, he was it. coming he back. It. He had yeah, it. Yeah, but he, he rang it before Sprite on the last one. Did he? Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Let's take it off Sprite. That's why I gave it to him first. Put it back on but Atari. They both, they both rang it. Yes. Like, real quick. And Atari was off camera the whole time. His bell was way too far over, people said. Oh, well, I'm set blame for that. So the win was not televised. Which is tragic, because it's not like he gets a lot of win. I think the fact that it was over where it was may have played a part. Quite in, possibly. In his victory, like maybe it needs to be further away from the other thing. Uh, quite possibly. He, he Because there's less interference. And he's not as worried yeah. about... Um, Sprite getting his food. Yeah, the camera, the center is here. So really you have to place it here. Because the, the center of the webcam is, is right there. 
Yeah, so it needs to move then, so that Atari, because Atari needs a chance to succeed. <laughs> As we can see, when it's a little further away, yeah, I don't know if that was it. He was just like spot on. He would go ding. He was good. And, and he would eat it Sprite, fast too. Because it used, as you all know, Sprite used to uh, Atari used to be the one that dinged the bell. <laughs> yes. He was the ding, ding, ding cat. And then at a certain point, he just got soft. Feel soft with the button. Oh, I'm so good at this. I don't need. What? Why aren't they doing the thing? I'm. I am doing the swatty thing of a baba bro. What is that? What is happening? The cat Anyways, treat league is. Anyways, I think that's what's is, happened to Sprite now. The cat le treat league is totally rigged. Uh, yes, <laughs> I think the judge was paid off. He didn't close the door this time. Actually, it was very fair this time. Very yeah. fair. Because the door wasn't closed, mm -hmm. and Sprite's treats were not tossed into oblivion. Usually, Sprite's treats are because uh. he just goes. Next, uh, next. I don't know if and you noticed, I mentioned them. it earlier, but I got two dings. So I think you should add to the score, Darcy, because twice when I threw the uh, sprite oh. dings, they, they hit the bell. Uh, <laughs> that's my, it would have been screwing me up. I'm like, what is all the dinging going on? <laughs> I call for a vote of no confidence with the regulation committee. I think that's a good call. Sprite is angry with the f at the fix. He was climbing up on the couch going for more treats. He was angry after you left the room. He was like... Uh, I made a big mistake. Yeah? I didn't take the bells away. That also? You yes. gotta take the bells... As soon as yeah, the game's you, over. You throw the snacks, and while they're eating them, you take the yeah. bells, and I screwed up. So that's on me. Yeah. On the on the congratulation treats? Yeah. Yeah, you take both away, because yeah. they get very confused. Okay. Uh, I think it's my turn to play. <laughs> Um, so no. If you can. Besides, if they were, then uh, then I didn't earn them <laughs> because Atari won. Start from where the uh, cursor is. Where did Darcy get his nuts today? Were they provided by a certain <laughs> black cat? Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. The game's early levels no longer confront the player with frustrating leaps of faith and platforms that you can only reach by launching yourself off a precisely timed enemy kill. In addition to these improvements, there are also a greater number, greater variety of nasty suspicion bonus pickups to collect. And thankfully, our hero now has four health points per life, so accidentally touching an enemy no longer results in instant death. However, Crownland's top quality run and jump platform action comes at a price. Uh, the game requires 128 kilobits of RAM to play, meaning that you won't be able to run it on an unexpanded Atari XEXL, which drastically reduces the number of people able to experience the game on real hardware due to the rarity of XE130s and sufficiently, and sufficiently upgraded machines. But then when you see the game in action via emulation or a real Atari, it's clear that uh, La Resistance have put every bite of the necessary extra memory to good use. Chunky low resolution graphics aside, Crownland's sil silky smooth horizontal scrolling and top quality chip music puts many similar games on the 16-bit ST range of machines to shame. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how how did you get there already? <laughs> Is that your second spike thing that you went over? Uh, yes. Skills uh, with a Z. Nobody likes you. Or with a Z. We're in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you need a PAL as well. Not just NTSC. You can't, it's, this does not, like literally does not run on NTSC. It yes, kind of, uh, never. Never. Because it's you can't just port them. Um, because uh, PAL has more lines mm -hmm. on the screen. Oh, a pterodactyl. Oh no! Oh, I can get it. A pterodactyl. Kind of looks like one. Um, some sort of bird. I need this guy to get up there. Um. The more lines, it's it's hard to convert because there's less processing time. Um, you have to completely remake the the look of it. Wow. I'm out of light, actually. I don't know if I got it all back at the end of the level. Why would you? Sometimes you do. Sometimes. Ooh, big star down there. Get rid of that guy. Doesn't look like he's 
of use. Yeah, I would have died otherwise, I think. Ooh. What? No! How do I... What? What? Oh, I see. You can just jump and get them. You don't have to be up there. Um, that guy's there just to cause trouble. Yep. Uh, do I start the beginning of this level? Is this the beginning? It looks like the beginning. Okay, there's more of this review to read. Okay. Read it. <clears throat> I have to admit that I was initially surprised when I discovered... Not me. <laughs> not you? You Not me. Like the this? reviewer says this. I have to admit that I was initially surprised when I discovered that Crownland only achieved second place in the ABBUC SW competition. But then I suppose that Yomp deservedly received its accolade for Yomp, being both... As in jump. Sorry. For being both considerably more innovative and supporting a greater range of Atari computers. No, no, it's correct. You gotta, you gotta correct the newbie when he says the words wrong, because otherwise, he'll never learn. And you gotta give uh, that opportunity for people to all be like, "Yeah, screw that guy. He said the word wrong." <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I otherwise, feel superior. Otherwise, other people who are as annoyed as you won't, won't know that the justice has been, uh, been served. Uh, Crownland <laughs> may not be original in concept, but there's no arguing the fact that La Resistance have worked wonders to create such an excellent game. And that's not all. According to TMR RGCD's main in the know, there's apparently a proposed deluxe expanded version in the works, perhaps explaining nice. the lack of an official launch with their website. The, their website. Although, to be honest, I'm not really sure how La Resistance, La Resistance can... <laughs> La Resistance? La Resistance can improve on what is already an absolutely fantastic 8-bit release. Oh, damn it. No! Numbers and digits and credits. Yeah, you can which I will not read. Those. Because... Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Ow! <clears throat> it is actually hard to not... To get across that without losing your life. There's not many extra hit health points in this game. Oh, as I say that, <laughs> I should say that more often. Never say. There's not very many extra <laughs> health points in this. There's so few health points in this game. Uh, but you never, ever, ever say, "I'm doing really well," because that will result in instant death. Always. Instant death. Instant death. I'll get this. Not gonna get all the stars because I'd rather see more of the level. Of course not. Oh. There's a big star up there. Let's see if I can get that one. Oh, God. Uh you die. Uh, no. No. Uh. <sighs> sometimes it. it's try and fail, and sometimes it's try and die. I just gotta not, get oh! hit. not get hit so much. Yeah, you just gotta do it better. Get good. Don't. Oh, you can do that. You can get that. Jump back! Oh. No, 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 no. What do you mean, no? no there were three stars dangerous. to get. Too you dangerous? Don't... What happens if you die? Like, you just upload... Uh, oh, nothing. See, you, I get nothing you for got nothing that. for that. Well, but... it should be noted, you didn't have to complain to get it. <laughs> That's true. It uh, it came with the same thing as last time. I'm going to go down here. It's a little bit easier. Time I don't know. The, the, the jams that I call my... Platformer hero wouldn't leave stars. Behind. I know, I know, I know. It's painting. What me. happened to that, James? It's painting me, but I. I mean, even I went after the stars <laughs> on the platform jumpy thing. I did it! I did it. I'm losing. Okay, let's try this one again. Is that star extra oh big? God, yeah, it is. Nope! Nope! 
Nope, nope, nope. It's too hard. Now I have no life. You have two lives. Oh, I did it. It's so hard. The, the timing and... Uh... I know. It's so frustrating when you have to play the game more than once to succeed at completing the game. What were they thinking? Who do they think they are? Looks like the end. Making these yeah. games so you have to try more than once to succeed. I never find random bags of cash in the street. <laughs> have you ever found money on the ground? I've, like, when I was a kid. Like, no, I don't walk around random areas as much. Um, <laughs> but um, when I was a kid, I found money here and there on the ground. Pretty rare. I haven't got to the part where you shoot things yet. Oh well, yeah, there's. A, I was wondering because there's the fire button. Yeah. And no, no firing, firing so far. <laughs> but it makes sense that there'd be an upgrade. Yeah, but it's weird that they would use, they would I assign the just primary gonna button. Say, yeah. I was just gonna say. That guy looks spiky. What do yeah, you think? I don't think he can bounce off his. I mean, the it, it is weird that he has only one spike as opposed to many, okay. and he's the and he's the dangerous one. But yeah, how many lives do I have? Did I gain some lives? Oh, the stars reset. Did I get a hundred stars? Must have. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid finding ten dollars. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, it was because ten dollars is a purple. That's the that's the purple money. <laughs> and oh my god, in the early 80s, $10. you could buy so much candy for $10. Oh, endless candy for like, $10. I don't know if there were penny candies or uh, not. There was five cents. There might and have been, cent. but there was definitely five cent candies. Yeah. I, I feel like there may have even been some trashy penny candies still in existence at the time. Uh, I don't know. Because early it, 80s, yeah, because maybe? at a, yeah, oh, definitely early 80s. It yeah. was like. 81, 82. I remember because we moved around a lot and it was. <laughs> Ooh. It was in Gold Ooh. Lake, Alberta. Ooh, can I. How are you supposed to get that other star? It scrolls off the screen. Ooh, do I have to get up here to get on the platform? I think I do. Some good platforming. Not by me, just the game. Yeah! Oh, big star. I, I didn't look to see how many stars the big star was worth. Oh, there's a spiky guy on the other end. Okay, let's do this. The um, inertia is important because you can't just stand at the edge yep. of the ledge. Yeah, yeah. That's why oh. there's a tiny bit of inertia. Two monkeys. Yeah, to keep you from standing at the edge. Ooh, ooh like ooh. a cheater. What's funny is that there are lots no. of games without inertia that, <laughs> yeah. uh, that I, um... Yeah. That there are lots of games with, without inertia that I act as though there's inertia. <laughs> right, so you take a running leap? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, best to assume there's inertia, because a lot of games do have. Uh-oh. Oh, some of these have stars, though. Oh, I think I can... Oh, duh. Oh, no! Anything? Anything around here? Oh, no! Oh, I... oh what? You have to go... <gasps> oh, my goodness! Who knew there was a time it's element to this hell. game? hell! Not me. Oh, it's in the top right. People with eyes, I guess. That we don't have. <laughs> yeah, I was taking my time on this level. Speed up this process. Oh! Oh, I got an extra life. Yeah, because you uh, finished all the stars. Nice. Was it a hundred? Mm -hmm. I don't think I was. No, it was a hundred. Oh yeah. wow! No, it was. It was zero zero stars, and I was about to comment that. But did you see it at ninety nine? No. Okay. I saw it at zero zero, and you said I got a free life. All right. Could be a coincidence. Doesn't seem like it is, though. <laughs> no. So I reached some goal of... Yes! Or did that give me anything? Yeah, it lets you get those two stars. No, it doesn't. No. 
only skill lets you get those two stars. <laughs> and I do not possess them. Monkeys! 83 seconds left. I think I was pretty close to the end. <gasps> no. I better speed up. Ooh, am I doing something right? I think I am. Yes, and I got that for nothing, because... Oh my god, I think this is the end. Yeah, I was like milliseconds to the end. That's how it always And you works stopped, out. and we're like, mm, oh, I, oh no, how do I get back there? <laughs> <laughs> Jungle 2-2. Two, two. Will you guys get your new Ch King Charles money? Yes. When? Oh, I don't know when. Don't know as when. soon as they make new money. Yeah. They're in no rush. There's plenty of circulation because our money is very hearty. It's made they of plastic. It on purpose. Polymer or whatever. Ah! Oh, no, my life! If King Charles doesn't uh, hang on long enough, he could end up being <laughs> no money Charles. <laughs> it's true. I've seen the design. Yeah. So it does uh, does exist. Oh my god. Okay, let's not die this time. Oh, two platforms? No! No, it's game over. <laughs> Excellent platformer game. Um, next time i'll i'm get, i want to play this on after dark at some point because i think i can do a lot better go for more of the stars so i can get more extra lives but we have to move on oh the poll is closed let's check out what the poll says um it's gone so let's see what the poll says on the page because they put it in gray on black like very, very light gray. That's very helpful. It's super helpful. Okay. Uh, Can you put it on this screen? Uh, yes. Oh, if I switch over. I'm I'm a troublemaker. Yes, you are. I'm a troublemaker causing the trouble. That's not too bad. It's much easier for me to read than it was. Me too. Um, so in first place, retail stores during original release. That is surprising. <laughs> a lot of old school people here. Got the majority of their games. 40%. Four people. Uh, there were 10 votes. So, f yeah, oh, yeah, I guess I didn't need to add them up to find that out. Because <laughs> four, 40, yeah. Uh, used game stores uh, tied with 20% with online auctions and then uh, flea markets and other. No one I, got any from Gra nobody got go the majority from Grudge. was, yeah, which is not surprising. There, it's really hit and miss. I'm guessing the cat was standing on a chair and the chair tipped over upstairs. Very noisy. Uh, Chelsea Donnie Mouth found a fifty dollar bill one time. Wow, that is nice. Like fifty dollar bills are not super common as well. So, the next game we're going to be playing is Gold Diggers. Uh, it is a brand new-ish update. Uh, this builds from June 1st, 2023. Written by uh, Christian Walczyk, uh, Salmax for the code, uh, Christoph uh, Zembik, Kaz for graphics, and Zoltar X for the music. Uh, that was more years ago, too. More then, that's true. Uh, so let's actually take a look at where this game came from. Anything out of place? Or just two cats going, we didn't do anything. Two cats, not injured. Oh, that's um, Nothing fallen on the floor that you could see? Couldn't see anything. Okay. So this was originally called Mummy Maze by Popcack. Pop, Pop Cap. Um, around 2002, all I can find is Mummy Maze Deluxe. Maybe it was all Deluxe. I don't know. So you are that uh, dude, and you move one square at a time. Uh, the mummies move two squares at a time. But they always go towards you, and they can't go through walls? Yes, they are on a beeline for you. Oh, I'm going to change the uh, cartridge. There we go. Get 
copyright was struck. Oh, stuff is just gone. Yes, it is. There we go. Um, so, uh, the game we're going to be playing is called uh, Gold Diggers. They renamed it. Um, and it's uh, entered into the Fuji Cup 2023. So let's switch back now that you've seen pretty much what that is. Uh, it does add more things in later levels, but hopefully we can get to that um, in the game we're going to be playing, if they've added that in. So if you want to load up um, Gold Diggers for us. Salmax presents from the After Party series Gold Diggers uh, from Gravity 5, April, May 2023 based on Mummy Maze by PopCap Games. Description on the Fuji Cup website. Well, how does that say Gravity 5? Uh, it's in Polish. Oh. I just happen to have read it many, many times enough to remember <laughs> that okay. it means gravity in English. Okay. Uh, I'm learning Polish. Not really. Oh, and there's a very nice title screen. Description on the Fuji Cup okay. website. That's funny. <laughs> so you're running from the gold diggers. You're in not the digging They're for not gold. Mummies. <laughs> you're not You're not digging for gold. You're That's... running away from... That's what I thought before I saw the uh, title screen. I'm like, oh, this game has been changed a little bit. They're not mummies chasing you. Uh, a great game model after Mummy Maze from PopCap Games. The game has 128 addictive levels where we run away from money-hungry girls. The game has a score record on the network for FujiNet uh, owners, so we could technically play this off the oh FujiNet. Uh-oh. Not that guy. Um, First version of the game was created during Game Jam uh, Gravitar in 2023. So, the controls. Move your explorer by clicking on a square uh, directly adjacent to him or moving. So the enemy's always yellow. Good job. I just couldn't remember Daniel ran away. the lesson that I learned. So every level has a different location. An old man, which is you. Mm -hmm. Uh, and beauties, Lucy. So they can have more than one. And count your step, and the record is 255. Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah. You learn as you go. And there is no lives, so you can do it over and over again. It's a puzzle game. Based on Kanye's song. The cats are learning to hide their vandalism. They do. They make noises, and then you go upstairs, and you're like what happened to make that terrible noise and nothing's out of place and the cats are looking at you just innocently sitting on the ground oh i saw this one on on the other game yeah so i think they did model all the levels after the other game and they move horizontally first towards you then vertically that's what i can see yeah horizontally first so that's good to know. They didn't hide the toilet paper destruction that well. No, they didn't. I got a picture of um, their destruction. Nope. Nope, they're dead. Um, you can also pass on your turn as well by pressing the button, I think. So if you want them to just move horizontally first. So remember, they move horizontally first. So if you go up to the top, all the way to the top mm -hmm. and then move over yeah yeah no that's that's the plan yeah oh oh then you can move over again okay and they'll go over no no that way to trap them in that little box oh yeah okay yeah. so controls uh important to pass your turn you can pass your turn gameplay mummy maze is a turn based game this is from the original instructions from a mac version um all right, well, First you move, then the mummy moves, then it's back to you again. The objective in each maze is to make it to the exit without getting caught by the mummy. And it has an exit. Uh, the problem is that for every one square you move, the mummy moves too. You need to make take advantage of his limited intelligence to trick him into dead ends and cul-de-sacs. Uh, the key is to fooling the mummies to realize how it thinks. Normal mummies, the white ones, or yellow ones, in this game, will always follow the same rules they try to catch you. The mummy moves. Uh, the mummy can move horizontally <clears throat> to get closer. It will do. If the mummy can't move horizontally, but can move vertically, uh, I will do that instead. <clears throat> because of these rules, the mummy will often move into dead ends where it could have caught you by moving a little smarter. Luckily for you, the mummies aren't too smart. <clears throat> 
Uh, scorpions. You'll also see scorpions in some mazes. Nice. Uh, these are just as deadly as the mummy, but slower. I wonder how they'll make the scorpions in this. They can only move one square per turn. If a mummy and a scorpion ever end up in the same square, the mummy will beat up the scorpion, knocking it out of the game. So there are ways to... Um, I couldn't figure out this one. It's tough. I played it a little bit before the show, and I couldn't find a way to put it somewhere to trap it. But you need to put it somewhere up somewhere there by luring it out and then trapping it somewhere. I'm guessing you lure it to the top. Yeah. I don't think you can get it over. That's the problem. I think you maybe have to get it down onto one more down and then get it up. Yeah, by going down until it's over, then moving up get out of the way and then you move over and it moves over which is good then you can get it move over one to the left and then up and then move over and then lure up no no way to get it but I'm just gonna from go here, it's, you know if we're gonna do it let's do it yeah so I think I tried that as well, and I couldn't get that. Uh, gates and keys. In some mazes, you'll see areas blocked off by a gate. We'll see if we can make it to that. The mazes will also have a key somewhere. The gates can be open or closed by moving onto the key square. Oh, the key can be triggered either by you or mummy or even a scorpion. Oh, so you have to manipulate the other person to open gates by getting them to move over a key. Or you can move over a key and lure them into an area where they can't get out of. Traps. Psst, psst. Don't go under there. Some mazes will have traps, which are designated by a skull image. On the floor, if your explorer steps on a trap, actually you could get him up to the top. Oh, no, too late now. No, because as soon as you get him up to the top, he moves over. Maybe you have to trap him down there. Ooh, ooh, that's good. That's very good. That's even better. Oh, that's perfect. You got him. Good job, Darcy. Jacob, run away. Now your name is Tyler, and you're in Dior. Running away from Carolyn. Yes? What would you like? Are you upset because you didn't get one extra treat because Atari beat you? And you say, I'm used to getting ten treats plus one, and I got nine treats plus one. And I can tell... Uh, red mummies. You may see mummies or scorpions that look different. They're bright red. The red mummies and scorpions behave different than the normal ones. Their priorities for chasing you were reversed. That is, they will try to get you vertically before they move horizontally. Oh my god. Then two mummies. Some mazes have two mummies in them. In the event that two mummies ever collide, they get into a fight, with one being destroyed in the process. Oh, did you do it? Nope. Nice. So those are the rules. I had to find them I guess this is a well-known game, because they didn't post these rules anywhere that I could find. And actually, Gold Diggers doesn't even have a thread in the Atari forums. So I had to cobble all this information together. Ooh, you're dead. you dead. My turn. Sure. I've read all the instructions. Um, ooh. I'm... Oh, boy. I don't know where to take it. I'm going to... Oh, boy. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Because <clears throat> I wanted to, like, lure him around into this thing. I don't think that'll help. Uh, what you gotta do is get him into that thing somehow. This one? Yeah, but I don't, uh, I don't know how you do it. See, he goes horizontally first, which, ooh, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. what I okay. did, and it didn't work. Yeah, because he goes horizontally first. So let's go all the way over here. And if you can get up to the top, I don't think there's enough time though. No, there isn't, because that's what we both did, and yeah, 
You're it's the time. third time that that didn't work. <laughs> Maybe the fourth time will work. Oh um, boy, so fast. That's the problem. And I don't think if you go in there that you get anything. Hmm. This is something. No. That's but it's nothing. not it's nothing because you die as soon as you come out of it. You don't die, but you have to like marry that lady. And give her <laughs> half your right. money when she forces you. That's right. Uh you go to the left to dead, go to the right to dead. Okay, this is not not something. Even if you go up top, it's not gonna be useful. Um As soon as you step there it's death. Maybe it's something to do here. Let's try and lure him. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Something. Something. Something even more. This may be where... I think this is how done. you get up there, yeah. Is it? Yep. Yes. Okay. Done. MQ ran away. I'm just making up names now. MQ. Oh boy. Okay. Mason. And uh, uh, dead, dead, dead. Not dead. Dead. You don't die in this game. <laughs> it goes. Nope, nope, nope. I think you go to the right. Yep. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure. I actually know it. That doesn't work. Uh, you have to... Where did she start? In the top corner? Top left. Okay, so... Left is death. It's always horizontal first, so you... That's death. Yeah. So going up is death. Going left is death. So I think you have to go right. Going down, they get too close to you. Okay, so... Um, but he can't go you, up. You go down and then you go right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Because that will take them over. Now you go right. And the, Yes. And, and, and then, then go you'll left. go left. There we go. And then they're, they're trapped. Yep. Okay, that was much easier. That was more complex. Oh, there's a key. Uh oh. Where's the door? How does that help? Oh, it permanently uh... opens it. I thought it. I thought it temporarily opened it. Okay. One looks too easy. No, I don't think you can get it there. No, you're nope. dead. Nope, dead, dead. She can make it to the exit, but so can they. Ooh. Move them over here. Mm -hmm. Then go for it. Ooh, nice. Just can't go up. Yeah. This and is now, no, no. I mean, uh... no. you just had to, you know what, though. You just wait for them to come over. Yeah. And then you go over. And you go over one more. Yeah. And you go over. Uh. No, that's exactly what I did. Mm, uh. It's gonna do something. No. Thing so what extra. you need? Okay. So you need them behind. You had them behind this the first time. I think that's best. Yeah. Because then that's they're what not you did there. one vertical. That's what you did the first time. So now, now you go over one more. No. No. Oh. No, you got to go over that way yep, to yep, do it. Yep, yep, yeah. I see it. I see it now. So here. Mm -hmm. And then go over left twice. Yeah, then they're trapped. Mm -hmm. And I can do whatever I want. That was probably the slow version. <laughs> Don't let her grow up to her, uh, the right. Yes, okay. Now I need them to go over to the key. No, I don't. Trap them like here. 
I think you, you have succeeded. <laughs> yeah. Some some are Gideon ran away. Oh uh oh. Okay, there's a potion. There's a spinny thing. It's a drone, obviously. Yep. No, it says there's two of them. Are they over top of each other? Maybe you're in the drone. No. Okay, so it's a drone. A pel Pelagia is the drone. <laughs> I'm guessing. Uh, I want to know what that potion is. Let's try that. It's death. <laughs> is it death for him? Oh, you can get them to fight. Yes. And... You might be able to feed one of them a potion. Button. Now... Apparently, I don't know why you... Oh, God. I don't know why you wanted to lose. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like losing. I think w what you did was correct, but you got to go down before you do it. Maybe. Oh, like over here and then down. Oh, no. Can I just, like, go to the exit? Oh. Mm. Yeah, they won't make it. They, okay. not, they almost make it. Mm -hmm. So the potion What's had the nothing potion to... about it? Oh, it. I press the one. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's a... Wait, red, which red one? Hair. Oh, I'm, you press your green. I'm green. Okay. Dolores moves maybe vertically first? I think you have to start over. I think so, too. Because your button pressing was, uh, was not good. Not good at all. Okay. No, it didn't work. Oh, yeah, now it works. Well, I don't get it sometimes. I don't I don't know why that was challenging. Maybe you get bonus points for Ooh. making them eat the potion. Now I can get them to eat the potion. Yeah. Because that, that guy goes vertically first. Uh, okay. They did not. They don't mind potions. So they They're not as bothered by potions as you are, as you and I and other normal humans. Nope. Nope. So the potion is for me. I can't go through there. They can. Ooh, if I lure them up here, I can lure them into here, because they go vertically first. They're very silly. Okay, back to you now. So they go vertically. The, the red ones go vertically. I'm blue, right? Yeah. The potion does not affect them. What happened? Don't Correct. they normally go horizontal? Uh, vertically first, then horizontal. The red ones. Oh. The yellow ones oh, okay. go horizontal first. I get it. Yeah. I finally noticed the locations have been like Calvin Klein, Michael Kors. It's time to see corporate sponsorship for this game. Smatsland. Oh, did you just... Oh, you completed it. It was not hard. Is where you get uh, by Converse. Yes, be quite uh, quite a lot of corporate sponsorship then. Mm. Yep. Nice. Hmm. Mm, they're gonna come out. Yeah. Okay. Uh. No, I did it wrong. That's okay. Uh, you can try for it. No. There you go. Oh, there you go. Work. But I did do it wrong, I think. Oh, okay. It's not the it's best just that way there's, to do it. Well, I don't, I don't know. Dollar when tree. I say wrong... Is that me or the cat? It sound like a cell phone, kind of? Going... It was definitely a belly. Martin versus Lucy. That's right. So you are green, and this is a horizontal person. Ooh, no okay. So if I bring them in there. You can't. Then I can't succeed because I can't get them up into that corner. Well, there's only really. Oh. Wait, they don't go. They go sideways first, not up, right? Yes. Oh, I don't see any way to get them up there. No, uh, it's impossible I, to get them up to the top right because they always go sideways first. So you have to get them somewhere else. 
go to the right. Yeah. Doesn't yeah, really it doesn't help, help you. Me. No. Hmm. And I die here, right? Yeah. I'm going to the right and then down. I it just brings them over here. Bit, but I don't think it's going to help in the long run. Because they go across, not vertical. It would help in the long run to get you out. So that's something. If you go to the right and then down. Yeah. Now you can explore all of that area. Yeah. And lure them somewhere else by going yeah. up to the top left. But you have to get them kind of trapped somewhere else. That helps, yeah, yeah, that helps. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Now you could get them. Ooh, I wonder. No. And well maybe this person reacts to the potion. Well you could get them over. There. Now you've got them. Now you can get them into that, that bottom corner. Perfect. Now they go horizontal, so you want to go all the way yeah. to there. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then we can tuck them into that L. Yep. Hopefully. Yep. Go to the right. There. Perfect. Got them. Got them. Some retail stores certainly do feel like mazes. Yes. <laughs> and we'll finish off level 20 on level 20. There's 125. We're not going to be doing 125. So there's two people that do horizontal movements. So then they'll fight. So you go to the Ooh. left. And and we only one have one, them. and they're trapped. That okay? We'll do one more because that was a learning level. That was just a learning level. Uh, okay, we're back to one. Okay, this will be our last one. Then. Okay, so if we go there. Oh nope. Goes horizontal first. Um, horizontal first. Horizontal first. No, but if I can get him over to here. There we go. Does that help? Yeah, up, up, up. Oh yeah, it gets me closer. Is that enough? Mm -hmm. No, you have to go down one. Hmm. I don't think that's enough either. Maybe I need to get them over on that side now that I've got him over here. Yeah. And you hook him in there. No. Damn it. But you know where to put him? I Into think. that little nook. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. We want him in there. Where you had him. Oh. Yeah. Now you want him down in that nook. Right, so I need to get him so out. Get him out, and then back. And then you scoot into the thing. Nice. Yeah. Done. Jesse ran away. Great puzzle maze game. It's not like over the top, super, super difficult. Like, you have to think about each level a little bit, but then you go, okay, I got it. Great game. Yep. Awesome, awesome, That's awesome. good stuff. Okay, uh, now we're going to move on to the last game of the day, which is Binary Parasite. Um, so, something to show you first. Ah, this pillow. This pillow is degrading quite a bit. This is really funny. What uh, the um, developer posted, Matosimi, Matosimi. Uh, I really like to read posts soaked in tears. They warm my heart. Life is so hard with binary parasite. <laughs> it's like it starts off. Um, the description on the Fuji Cup, which it's also entered into the contest. Uh, a very nice, colorful puzzle arcade game. Unfortunately. With the next levels above 10, the level of difficulty increases sharply. A position not for casual players, but only for nerds 
with steel nerves and titanium joysticks. Um, he says, anyway, I've been playing the game on a real hard way with the joystick. I'm wondering why you feel it that hard. I was able to win level 13 on the fourth try with my three-year-old son sitting on my knees for inde increased difficulty. Level 14th on the ninth try. Unfortunately, I found a bug in level 17, the pyramid. Nothing that helps prevents the win at that level. But at some stage of level design, I decided to remove numbers indicating sub-goals after the reach. I forgot to implement that in this level. So we'll release another version soon with these cosmic changes together with a training mode without shooting projectiles, but I don't expect it to be too merciful. So he hasn't released that version yet, so really the hard limit is level 17 at the moment. Um, but, but he said it doesn't help or prevent the win. Oh, it just makes it impossible to really kind of solve with because you don't get enough information. He said it doesn't help or prevent the win. Oh, okay. So yeah. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. I guess we no may or may not find out. Means. Okay, load it up. Uh, this is by um, Martin oh. Simchak, Matosini. Music run for a bit. But not too long. Okay, press one. <laughs> otherwise, we get flagged. Yeah. Flagged! This uh, was originally post October uh, 17th, um, 2022. We did play it um, the first uh, couple bits of the levels. So, uh, oh, oh. so, you can see that's your goal to get to. And What's your goal? You see the numbers oh, see. on the yeah. bottom of the screen? That That's what you have made. It's all zeros. And you have to make a three out of a one and a two, obviously. There are little things to push onto the two and push onto the one. The sound says it's such a cute game, it's hard to believe that a spinning zero one would be cute. But here it is. Yeah, it's super cute. There you go. You can see in binary it's now one zero. And making that, putting that on the one. And it's over. Yeah. So hold down the button, I think, to restart. Maybe it's escape. Maybe it's nothing. Press all the directions. Up, down, up, right. Fire and down. There we are. Oh, there. Fire and down. It says it right on the screen. Big letters. Oh, thank you, Vitoka. And great music as well. Um... The developer also made a ton of other games. Oh, I don't know why it does that. Light Up, Fallen Kingdom, Laser Mania, what? Castle Defender. Wait. Oh, messed up. Pushed it too far. No, but it's like, if I jump, it, it throws it. And you jump over it. It pushes it? Yeah. Even when you land, like... Like, I landed on the one side of it, but it throws it that way. Oh. So, so if you land on it, it pushes it to the right. No, not always, because up top, it pushed it off the other side. That's. Oh. I guess you just got to be careful. I've got to figure out how to do it, is what just I Just don't get it close to the edge. There yeah. we go. You can jump up through the platform, and that solves me a problem. Me problem. Oh, Rendered Ghost got some ZPH shirts. Looking good in the wash now. Excellent. Good job. Which ones did you get? Did you get the two new ones? Oh, did I show you we got some new shirts? I'll go get those shirts.
It says at the bottom 11. Uh, yeah, go into the portal. That's in binary. Okay. But it says it in um, uh, gotcha. hex or decimal. Don't know yet, because it's only three. Uh, so there are the two new shirts. There we go. Certified, 100% certified couch compliant. Nice. And ah. binary or a coded, coded message in there, and it also has ZPH. There's the ZPH one. It's easier Very to cool. see from a distance, the ZPH. And then the 100% couch compliant. And this game is 100% couch compliant because you can kill yourself with the joystick. So that works out well. Two, the two new ones. Awesome. Who washes new clothes? They're as clean as they're ever going to be. Well, they'll get them to... See? Like, I landed on the one side of it, but it went... Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, I like it's like where you need to land. Like, it has a bias in the direction you're pushing it. Right. And then if you touch it, it pushes it in that direction. And I don't know how you set the bias. Oh, okay. Just got to left, land very left to the left of it. And, like, run and away just, from it. Like, don't touch it anymore, yeah. So there's, um... You got to get... It's not enough. The nine watch. out of there. Yeah. So you have to go, what adds up to nine? Not a four. Well, four, a four and a five, but there's not a five. There's a Oh, eight, eight okay. Eight. Okay, I got I got you now. Yeah. And you have to act as the other thing. But I didn't notice. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So now the goal. No, see? Okay. I think it depends on where you land on it. If you're more to the right or more to the left, is that... No, no, it's not. That's what I'm saying. Is uh, it's not. It's not doing what you would intuitively expect it to do. And the backgrounds on this game are super cool. Like yeah, you can see the. Yeah, all the colors and, and the platforms all look amazing too. Yeah. And um, they're like and the little homages to other games. That's like. Um... Okay, now you have to know binary to do it. This one you have. Like, what did this? Oh, B, B for binary. I was like six. What the hell of six? Is? Yeah, you have to know binary for this one. So to undo the 16, you have to know which one is 16. So it's ones, two, like one, two, four, eight, 16. So it's the first one. But that's one. One, two, four, eight, 16. There you go. And now you have a 20. Which is a 16 plus You said the four. first one and I was looking at the wrong side. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant the other side. <laughs> now you have to get the 20 out of there. Yeah, you haven't given me enough information to now know binary. I know oh. that, I know that you I know that you gave me a clue, but it wasn't enough. Oh. I don't I still don't know binary. <laughs> um, oh, you can look at the bottom. See mm -hmm. the zeros on the bottom? Yeah. Um, the ones on the most right hand most side. Mm -hmm represents the ones column mm -hmm. then the twos then the fours column and the eight yeah it's like it's like decimal the first one is uh one through nine the next one's the tens then the hundreds but these represent each power of two one two four eight sixteen oh, okay 32 64. so to unlock a 20 you have to a, think in binary which is 16 plus four because those are the tools you have so the 16 is the first one, and then you need the four. So you go one, two, four. The four is the middle one. So you can either put that thing on the four. See what I mean? Like I landed clear on the one side of it. It 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 probably favors one side or the other. No, one more over. Push it one more over. That's the 16s. Should be enough. Then you go on the fours. Good. Now you need to make a 10 to escape. Okay. So, this so you've got three things. This is the four, and this is the eight. So yep. I need this one here, right here. Yep. And you have to push the other one. Oh, you, yeah, you have to push that to the eights. There we go. The ten portal is open. Hi, cats. What are you doing? Uh, my turn. 
Okay, there's a bunch trapped. 128, 65, 52. Uh, we have nothing to work with. These are all in decimal. Put the 128s right there. There we go. So now I have to make 65, which is 64 plus 1. Um, and there's, this guy's already up here, so I need to push him over to the ones. Don't push him too far. It's hard to get him back. Oh, he's <laughs> already... You can tell that it's on by the color. So you, oh, you don't have to get that close to it. Yeah. See? Uh, what changes color? The flashy bit. See? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the black part oh, of the flashy bit subtle. turns white. So now I... Once I, you see it, though, you see it. It's 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 pretty good. There. Now I have to make, need to make 52, um, which is 32 plus 16, which is 50. Oh, you've got three of them now, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we need to put this one on the two. And this one on the 32 or 16. I think it falls onto that. Good. It's sketchy. And then I need to be on the 16. Oh no, I have to get... Wait, wait a second, did I calculate this wrong? Uh, yeah, you need it on the 4 and not the 2. Oh, yeah. Sorry. 32, 64. Thank you, double down. And I will be contacting you very shortly. Um, I need to go on the 16. About a joystick. Okay, now the result is in binary <laughs> that I need to get, which is uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. And which is actually easier because I could just need in the 16, the 8, and the 4, because those are just in places and those are all binary. Um, so I have to use this one. As Why a is it six one one? It's binary. It's B, oh. B for binary. Oh B. That's what I was confused at first. Okay. I because that's the thing that kept me from understanding. Oh okay yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Because I was like, well, why is there a six? <laughs> there we go. And you, I, I remember you saying the B was for binary. You already have a joystick. But I didn't see... A bigger joystick. Does but I didn't see the, the B, even though you said it. I was like, oh, okay, okay, there must be a B on the screen, because I, in addition to the six, you know, <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I still saw a six. So there's a three trapped, which is just a one and a two. That's easy enough. Boom. Oh my God, where'd the, where did it go? That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We can free the five easy enough. It's a four and a one. Or did it go to the five? Okay. Yes, it went to the five. Yeah. So now we have. Uh, now we you need put to it go onto the four. Yep. Uh, and then the other one goes to the two. You're getting it. You're getting it. It was really just the the B thing, the B thing that was. I was just uh, like, I don't understand. You're you're like. You're talking like, nonsense. It, as soon as I realized that it's just ones and zeros. Hey, we've got the developer in the chat. Yeah, you can explain that. Then I got it back. Then I was like, okay, yeah, okay, immediately. But like the six, I was just like, what does the six mean? Why How is the six, six in one of the spots? Into it. <laughs> yeah. When bitbox is touched, it moves the last direction of the player. Oh, so if you want it to move to the left, you have to jump left into it. That makes a lot more sense. That's why you're, it was seemed to be random. It's like, well, why is it, it moving it, right I when knew it that, I knew that it wasn't random. I just couldn't figure out how to set the bias. Right. Like, I knew that uh, it was pushing it in a direction. And I knew that was reason. being set. And I knew that it would go both directions, but I didn't know what was setting it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Matt Osimi, welcome. Sense. Thank you. Now I know. Yep. And sometimes okay. knowing is half the battle. But did you know that sometimes knowing isn't even like 1% of the battle? <laughs> That's right. Because Not in this case, though. It's you, a, like, for instance, if you have to, you know where you need to go, but there's a platform and you're not this. good at jumping on platforms, ow, ow, then ow, it doesn't ow, really ow, help. Ow, 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 <laughs> ow, ow, ow. So we can free the two. Uh, and we can free the eight. Yeah, right away. Uh, yeah. Yep, okay. And now we've got two down there, and then we need to make 12. 
which is what eight, does eight twelve get us? Oh, it gets rid of that wall, I guess. Uh, yeah, gets rid of the wall, which so I can go get, on the sixteen, go to the 16 yeah. which is easy because I just need a sixteen and a two. We both can go over there. On it. Ah. As long as one of them's not on that one. Oh, oh, I have to do it from there. It's like, that's a big jump. Oh, no. It has to be one of the cubes? Uh, no. Yeah, because I can't. No, because you want 18. Oh, yeah. Yeah, OK. Let's do this again. So that has to. Oh, so it, OK. Let's do this again. So I want eight first. That's what happens because the two makes a big hole there. It is a yeah, and that top level does have a slightly different. So you have to push this over here. It has a slightly different uh, coloring. Like the middle line is very yellow as opposed to like a pale blue, and maybe the those ones need to have a. Are you talking about the flashing things? Yeah. That worked that time. Yeah, because yeah, because I. Uh, oh no! Now this is gone. Oh, I have to put it on the 16 first. Oh my god! Can I jump across there? That's way too big. No, you, you weren't able purpose. to. But... Go! Nope. My platforming skills fail me. <laughs> okay. How do I get? Okay, I need to get 12 first. But not two, ever. I avoid two, don't do two. I see now how I must do this. Get the eight, then get the 12. Don't touch the two. Clever, clever girl. But you Now can't. I can, oh. You have to do the two to get it over that, oh so that ain't God. it. God, okay, that's not quite it. Whatever. Okay. Oh, but you could have gone down and got rid of the two on your own at that point. Do you know what I'm saying? No. Let's just do this. So there, do the eight. Yeah. Okay. Push it over to the other to the other side. Oh, okay. I think. Okay. Right. Yeah. And now, oh no, you needed it over there to do the 16. Is that it? No, to do, you're doing I need a, to 12 do the 12 right 12 now. 12 first, but I can't. Right, because okay, yeah. So it it doesn't. Um, I don't think getting you're, do the two. Oh no, but I can't jump across there to push it to the 16. That's the problem. Right. There's no need to reset. Oh no. Okay. Well now there is. <clears throat> okay. Let's try this again. So I was doing it right. How do you get it back across to the 16 then? That's a good question. No! Okay, I did that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Why is there a three hanging out right now? That's how you get the platform. Oh. Oh, that's okay. 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 Now what the hell am I doing? So you do the eight and you do And you push and I push across do, to the left. You you do the eight and then you can do the two as yes. well. Yeah. yeah. Because I just need to make three. Yeah. And now you do a three. That makes the platform. Right. Okay. Now you can go to the six. Or now you need 16. Yeah. So I need eight, uh, four. Is 12. Yeah. You need 12, not 16. I can't. Yeah. 12 first. Now I can use the platform. Get that onto the 16. But you have to move the four. Now I need to get 18. Um, Maybe that's why it didn't work before. 
because we put it on the 16, but the other one was on a number. Oh, I need to just put that on the two. Man who seems like, you idiots! <laughs> <laughs> I just I didn't think see that's that why three. the sixteen. I think that's why the sixteen didn't work when you put your body on it, because there were because the other one might have been touching something. Or yes. maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Could be. Okay, what do I need to do? So many things now. There's, if only there was a video recording of it that we could um, go back to and, <laughs> and and look at. We can in real time. Remember? Did yeah, I show yeah. you that? That's yeah. why I was. <laughs> that's that's a, that was my joke. Was that there is in uh, fact a way to do it. Okay, so there's uh, an eighteen. Sixteen. Yeah, the eighteen will let you get up there. So how do you do that? So that's locked for the four. I can't get to the four. Oh, I can get to the four. Come on. Um, now I can need a sixteen. Oh, you can get up to the four. Okay. Never yep. mind. Uh, now I need to get rid of that wall, which is a five. A four and a one will do that. Oh, I can just so. Okay. Now I need a platform for the 18, which is 16 plus two, but that thing's on the four. Can I get up there? Yeah. And there's a 16 up there. So if you can get up there, then you can do it right now, right? Can I push that off? James? Yeah. Top corner is 16, and you have a two right now. Oh, uh, you have to get rid no, of the four first. Get rid of that four. <laughs> I think I messed up. Ooh. How did you get up there before? Um, I didn't. Okay. I just like pushed it. <gasps> did I do it? Yeah. I did it. Okay. So now put that on two. Use my elite platforming skills. Boom. Now there's a platform. There's a platform. And now now I need, need uh, uh... eight, ten. So I just need to push that to. Eight. This is such a cute and awesome game, yeah. and um, also great for learning binary and decimal. And I don't know if there's hex in this game. I don't know if it teaches you that, but it does help you practice it. <laughs> yes, yes, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, oh, thrust! Hey, thrust! Oh, and the graphic is. Uh... Oh, yeah, thank you. So unprofessional. It's terrible. Terrible. There we go. <laughs> so I've got a forward trap. I can get up, I think. That's all I can do. I need to get that four out of there. Now there's a platform with a nine. I can easily do that. And then there's just the goal. What is the trick on this? Hmm. Uh, you need the nine first. Yeah. And maybe. then it will give you uh, another platform, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure. So okay. that you can get across. Now I just need a two. Because you couldn't get to... Um, the goal? You couldn't get to the goal with because it would fall into the muck. So now you got to push your cube down so you can get it over oh, to the two. Oh, that's why. Okay. That was just going to go step on the two. That doesn't help me. No. <clears throat> Ah! <laughs> I have to land on the. I have to be it's moving. It's not land. You have to move, move left. left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did play an early version of this one, uh, Thomas. This is the uh, an extended version. Of this. I don't know if it's the final. Is it the final version? Matto Simi. We have the developer in the chat, which is it, always helpful. It looks finished. Yeah. I mean, you can just keep adding levels. Uh, of course, yeah. Um, I need to get that to nine. Boom. And then skillfully and carefully be moving right as I land on this. No, left. Left. <laughs> yeah, <that'll be> bad. <laughs> okay. There we go. Left. And then get this on the two. Oh, I didn't notice that. It has um, binary and decimal. 
Oh, thank you for following Super Machio. Glad you're enjoying our stream. Sorry, binary and decimal. Um, so binary, the zero, 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 zero. Mm -hmm. And decimal on the right. Ah. On the very, very right top uh, bottom corner. Who's cat? A cat? Oh, this one. Okay, this cat. Okay. What level are we on? Does it say level nine? Okay. After level 10, it says it goes nuts. Ah. Uh. Uh, no, so, 17. Uh, 17, it it gets... There's a bug. There's a problem, yeah. Um, there's a bunch of things. Well, there's two things trapped. There's an 8 and a 4 trapped. So I can get the 4 out. And there's the 2 that does some sort but of those platform provided or something. platform. I don't mm -hmm. know. Let me just reset for a second. No, they didn't provide platform. Oh, no, you do the two and it, it does some sort of platform. Oh, I probably. do need a two. Oh. Uh, and jump off? No, that's perfect. I don't think I wanted to do that. I don't mm, think that helps anything. But it does, because you push it off the other end over there. I don't know how it helps. No. I do need the four. Okay. Now I need an eight, which is way up there. But I oh, so you need to get up there before you... Maybe you need to get up there before you release on the floor. Oh. I, I don't really know. Yeah. I don't know what the 8 does for you. It's, it's a nice little tour of Atari games from the past. Yes. Not familiar. This is Alley Cat? I've never played it. Well, yeah, let's try and get up there. Yep. Yeah, I that's think a that very might strange be, platform. It might be the only <laughs> thing you need to do. Oh no, they released that. Okay. Because I do need to do that too, which gets rid of that wall. Uh, moves then, it over here. Is that what it does? It does. Um, the tube makes a wall there, mm -hmm. and that thing at the top right mm -hmm. <clears throat> gets rid of the so wall. That's a four. It. That's a, a four and a two, so a six. Six. All right. <clears throat> But it, um, okay. So I need to get rid of that one. I need this one on the two. And that is a four and a one, so I just need to get that off of there. Sort of release the four. And then I need to push that onto the one. And then I can't get down here. Maybe if I'm like that? <laughs> might have been enough. No! 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 I can't get down. Uh, this does look 26-able. 2600 two, two is a trap. Two is completely that's a trap. That's yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, is that the two might be the one you don't want. Yeah. So I don't... Oh. Yeah, you don't need the one... You need the one to finish, though, to open up the portal. How do you do it? But there's two, two, uh, isn't that? If you land on the six two. Six at the top? Um, yeah. Uh, it's eight. Top, top, top. No, no, sorry, to the right. That's a um, that six, is right? a six, yes. Which can only be made with the four and the two. The two blocks that. Do you need that open? You do need it open to get to the one because the one opens the portal. Mm -hmm. So how how is the two a trap? I mean, the two is a trap, but... The two alone blocks it. Thank you. That's, the, that's uh, what I needed. That's the last piece of the puzzle. Oh, yeah. I and that's just, the, that's just the rules. Yes. We're, we're not cluing it. It's like, it's a not a two. Shoot. It's only a two if there's nothing else. That's right. Yeah, yeah, okay. So don't put that on the thing yet. Don't put it on the two yet. Yeah. No. 
That's the mistake I made. Now it's and never not leave, a two. And never leave the two by itself naked. That's tricky. The other side. Oh no, you just go that way and it'll yeah. go. Yeah. It's, uh, you need a five, not a. Oh, so put it on the one. Thank you, Madison. Madison, Madison, me. Thank you for the hit. Mm. Now it's level ten. Ooh, are these climbing stairs? These look like climbing stairs. The jumping stairs. <laughs> okay, we have. I don't know what we have. Oh, here we go. This is. People were saying this is from Jumpman Junior. The, um, I don't know if you remember that game, where there's some things that, as soon as it aligns with you, it starts firing. So, okay. What do we need to do here? So there's a four there, and that releases that first wall. Oh. Which gets you a three, and the three it releases the other wall. Okay. And then... Right. Luckily, I played tons and of Jumpman ball. Junior. Apparently. So I know how to deal with these guys. Just avoid them or keep moving. Um, okay, now I can go on to the two, which releases that guy, which can go on to the one. Okay, let me just deal with this thing first. And I just need to put, ah, <laughs> push it over. Whoa! I hit the ceiling. Did not expect that. And we're done! If you can survive long enough. Oh, yeah. There we go! Now, supposedly, it gets really hard. Okay. There's arrows. And things that are moving upward. Oh, and there's the bullet again. Oh, 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 what just happened here? I went on the eight and trapped myself? Yeah. See, how does that? It makes a wall. So it's red, that means you don't want it. Ooh. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. And we can see. And 16 as well. Um, there's a seven. I can push that. Can you jump down. up? To the oh, you know what? what? If I put the block on the eight or the 16, it makes a little enclosure that I can jump on. Yeah. Which I need to do to get up to the next level. Ooh, oh my god. Just made it out of that. How do I... How do I do that again without trapping myself? Keep pushing and don't fall off. Jump! Oh, we didn't do it. Oh, because not eight. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, well, how do I... What? Maybe I don't need to do that. Maybe it is funny. It is funny that we have to keep like <laughs> learning that like basic rule over and over. <laughs> okay. Um, I need a seven to finish this. So we've got a two and a four and a one. So I need all of them. Oh my god. Oh, and to uh, look at the blue thing up top there. And I've already made sixteen. Oh, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Already. I've trapped him. Yeah. So, Ramachio, I got a split. I'm psyched that I stumbled on the stream. We'll be tuning in again for sure. Thank you for following. That's how you tune in. Uh, so, we didn't trap ourselves to get by the missile thing, but I think oh. we may have been both. Oh, I see. Well, ah, go oh. on it and see. Go on it and see, and then leave it. Yeah, you're trapped. <laughs> it yeah. was both. It was both. I it's died both. It's and just I that you trapped. died before you got a chance to get to once realize you're, you're trapped. Because once you're trapped, you're pretty much a sitting duck for the... Uh... Okay, so I don't want to put anything on those. Um, oh, I need to use the elevators. Yeah, one... But how do I get... What? See, this says three will move stuff up there. Yeah, how do no, I... don't. Leave it there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you got to go over, you need to, so the, the blue, the one over, okay. So this one has a, this one has a built-in elevator. To get to this blue yeah. one, it goes up to the one. 
Then you get on here, and then that will lift this elevator. Oh, it will. This one will lift this elevator. Yes. And this one will lift this elevator. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Oh my god. I don't think that God is anything to do with it. My God does. <laughs> He's mean. He's, He's mean? He is terrible. He's, He's mean. <laughs> He's mean. He is mean, mean and mean. Okay, so you can't go up too high because you'll hit your head on the ceiling. Oh god. Nope, not there. Well, I know you have to jump off from here. Get on that. What? No, you just gotta do it better. Yeah, that's true. Maybe running jump. There you go. Now, which one do I jump? The, this the, one. Uh, so the one. There we go. The, you you want to move that blue thing? Yeah. You want to move it onto the elevator like you just did. Yep. Get to the top. Got it. Getting there. Boing, boing, boing. Nice. Okay. And that makes the elevators. Oh, my God. But it... Oh, I... What? Did it... Did, oh, it brings elevators. Yeah, brings yeah. Elevators I saw them the there. I didn't... Next I didn't see them... Uh... Oh, you, that's why it's labeled one. Yeah. Because it makes elevators. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then when you get the two up there, then it opens up the other one because you've got three. Uh, these early levels are relaxed and chill. All of a sudden, things get real. Pretty much at level nine, things get real because the bullet starts you know, interfering with you. I like the hint. Oh, that's why you put the eight and sixteen there because you land right there when you fall. Why don't you go to the top? Because you just my, want no. to make it harder? Oh, no, because okay. I hit my head, and, uh. and it just bounces immediately back. I just have to do it. Not the like last that. second. Not, not like too that. long. Oh, nice. Which way are you going? How? Okay. Now look out for the bullet. Oh, are these pass through? Yeah, they are. Okay. Come on, bullet. Do your thing. Okay, next. And one and two thankfully make three, bullet. and I don't have to move that thing at the top. Do this again. Luckily, that's the right direction. Yes. There's room for me to move, which is good. Ah, is that it's on? on? It's on. It's on. You is. can tell by the color, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, and the and the elevators are there. Before the bullet. Whoa, endless <laughs> lives. Yes, thankfully there's endless lives here. Okay. Go the little ones and zeros. Oh, we've Your got one. ores. Oh, it's an ore. No, now it's time for pain. <laughs> now we're doing logic. Okay, we'll get we'll get it. We'll get it. Um so we have to get 223. Which is, um, how do I get up? Oh, there we go. 223, which I'm guessing we need a 128. Um, did you see the bottom? Stop there? Yeah. Three. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's to get out. To get out, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I need to somehow get that down. How did I get But that how down? is that 63? 
Uh, it's a it's an ore. Um, so you are. But the ore is over there. Oh, it's top shelf or bottom shelf. I guess it does work. But why is 128 and 64 63? No, 128 or 64 is 63. No. Uh, a 1 and a 1 or together is uh, a 0. What's that? Is that correct? No. A 1 and a 0 or together is a 0. Uh, because 64... I'll show you. There we go. A zero and a zero ord is a one, as you can see. I have nothing on. Like a zero and a zero um, equal a one. Because if you think in like um, English terms, is is either one of them a zero? Uh, an or should be if either one of them is a one, then it's a one. And if they're both a zero, it's a zero. Oh no, zero and zero equals zero. Yeah. Then why is, uh... Rest. Why, why is, why is it all ones then? That's binary. Hey, Kabuto Kenzo. So... A one, like you're starting off with all ones. And oring 64 and all ones creates a zero there. Well, when you go on the 64, it changes oh, the 255 to 191. Yeah, so I'm subtracting. Okay. 255. 60, uh, 255 minus 64. So to get 223, I have to subtract um, something up here. So now I have to subtract um, 255 minus something is 63. But 63 is 64 and 128, apparently. Uh, so oh, it's a nor. It's a nor oh, gate. It's a That's nor. what they're saying. It's not a nor. It's a nor. Oh, I didn't see the line. Yeah. Okay. So it it subtracts, um, essentially. So we need to get. But rid a nor of the is six. a nor is like it instead it. That's Wait. like it has to be both not to be a one, right? Like two zeros to be a one. So that's what I don't, I don't know. I can't remember. It's like. And you put a knot on it. So this is what I need to end up with. One on the 128, one on the 64. How do uh, I get that there? The line above means negation. Negation, okay. It's the opposite so it of is, or. So it's, instead of addition, it's subtraction. How do I get that box but, down? But there is like a gate there, like it is like a... a yeah, yeah. Gate. How do we get this box down? Just you can try and down. bounce it off the... Uh, I mean, it wasn't hard to get it to begin with, so trial and error might be your friend. Which didn't work, but... You know. it j I knew it'd fall straight down. So. Well, I suspected it would fall straight down, but also we don't have any other answer, and all you no. have to do now is restart, which is... True. Maybe I missed something. No, how do I get that thing from the top to the bottom part? Mm. Well, maybe you don't. Maybe you... Maybe I don't. Uh... Something needs to be on the 64, and something needs to be on the 128 for the, for the gate to appear. Well, that's not necessarily true. Uh, that is one option. So, the 32 and the 160 is 128. It requires a tricky move. Huh. 
So you got it out by not having something on 128. Yeah. Wait, wait, go back up. Before you do anything, go back up. And figure out the rules a bit more. So, so, so you're at 128, and with 160, it it makes it. Oh, is there something so, I can do a different? Because these are not numbers. No, because That's correct. Uh, okay. 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 Hey. Get out. But the I'm... tricky thing is you might not want to release the thing yet. So oh. there's something tricky. Oops, I did. And it would it because it falls on the 160. I'm thinking that what you want to do involves that somehow. Right. The 159. Now it goes down to the 160. Yeah, I bet it's 160 and 96 somehow. And then you add something to it. Okay, go in the bottom row and see what do we get when those move. Because I'm not, I'm not sure on the rules here at all. Like I don't think it doesn't do anything because it's. Oh, okay. Look. Yeah. 64 is lit up. Oh, it was. Finer and decimal are in my head, so. See, one sixty does nothing. Yeah, but because so did sixty four do nothing. Thirty two does nothing. Now it goes down to ninety six. Yeah. Because you can only minus. You can only. Says it's not not hidden logic, just a tricky joystick move. Oh, okay. So we do we do need to do get that one down. It's just hard to do. So let's just play around with this block and see. Do you need to get the block to drop on top of you to take it down? Hmm. Do you push. Oh. oh. Ooh, boy. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. I see. That's the tricky joystick move. So it's attached to you. Let me just get this pull out of the way. Um, yeah, you pull and push it because it's mm -hmm. attached to you. I thought it detaches in the air, but I yeah. guess it does not. No, it does detach. Uh, but what if it's behind you, pulling it? See how you had it there? Right. Not ahead of you, but like like on you or behind you or right. something, so that it doesn't fall out of uh, sequence with you. Jump ahead of it and keep going. But don't stop. That seems a little trickier than I would expect, though. There, now go, now go. No, no, you oh. stopped, you stopped. Right. Yeah, I, I'm, it sounds like I'm giving you crap, no, no, but I'm no, not, no, I'm no, just, no. I think that's what might be what happened. But also, so. it seems a little bit finickier than you would expect, so that we might be wrong entirely about what we're trying. Now you... Like that, yeah. except a except little bit further. Yeah. Right. right, that's perfect. Oh, on top, like in the middle. Yeah. I don't know how you got it to do that. Though. I don't know either. Keep going, Owen. Yeah! Yay! Woo! Tricky. No bullets. No bullets. <laughs> no bullets. <laughs> that's that's tricky. I'm still not sure uh, the logic tricky on the on the Norgate. So I don't. I don't oh, know. I don't. Well, it was it was minus. Essentially, it means minus. The 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 Norgate. Okay, that that don't work. Don't, it's been a long time, but I don't recall that being part of the memory. <laughs> well, that's how it did work. It was it was yeah. set to 255 to begin with, and it was subtracting every time we went on. Something. Oh, I see. It's not a platform. It's only where there's color is it a platform. Oh. So let's 
see what we need to do here. We have a five, seven, and the four, four. is up. Four is going to drop one. Yeah. As soon as you jump to it. And those are platforms. Oh, spy versus spy. Okay. Cool. Nightmare level. Nightmare level. Oh, oh my. Can't see me. <laughs> I moved too quick for it. So I'm guessing, like, those platforms are gonna. I hit my head. That's what happened. Okay, so this one seemed. This is number 13. This is the one uh, where he said he did it on the third one. <laughs> With the child on his lap. Well, the I think he's just flexing. The I think he's just flexing on everybody. <laughs> developer saying he knows how to do the level is yeah. is he knows the answer though. Yeah. He knows all the movements. Oh my god! Yeah. Hit my head. You have to be careful yeah. and not jump too far to the left. Once, I don't even know if you I'm can doing. figure out to get it onto the one, then once it's there, it's gonna stay there. Can you jump straight up from the green to the blue? Uh, I don't. I think it's like just a bit high. Yeah. Of course. Too far. Too far. Too far. My head on the blue. Okay. Jeez. Jump, jump. What the hell? Ah! Oh, I can't believe I avoided that one. There's no room! There's no room! <laughs> ah! ah! Just looking away. Okay, what do I even need to do here? Like, you uh, need to get... You need to get that... Once you get on the four... The portable. Once there. you get to the four... You need to you need to then get the blue thing onto the one, and then back to the four to get the next one. Oh uh, right. I don't know how you. They need to be on the one, four, and two. If, uh, ultimately, Eventually. yeah. There's no room. How do you get up there? And you need to be on the one, four, and two to get that blue one. Then you need yeah. to go up and get it and put it on the four, and then you get out. Yes. 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 I think the problem right now is me just getting up to the second level. Like I like. I can't make room. Oh my god. Kapow. Kapow. I see a bug there. Where's that dot? Oh, that's where the gate. Oh! I kept seeing the dot on levels, and I'm like, why is there a dot there? Okay. I can jump up here. That's fine. up there but as soon as I move there's like I can't I can't get up to that blue oh there Finally, you go but I don't I just kept pressing the button I'm gonna die. There we go. I think the next part's easier because there's nothing no to it's, it's hard now you have to do the tricky maneuver to get it onto the one <laughs> which is just I don't even tiny, know how I'm gonna do that tiny platform in the middle <laughs> Okay, I gotta try. Oh, yeah, yes. It's... Now what? Is those, does it push it all? Oh. Oh. Oh, what? Oh. oh, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to push it all the way along. Oh, I see, okay. So the blocks are fine, I'm the blocks. <laughs> the blocks have a platform that's different than what you have. As long as I'm moving in the right direction when I touch it. <laughs> so weird. Uh, that does make it <laughs> way less uh, stressful. Yeah. Because uh, I was it, like, oh, then you got to do it perfectly or the blue thing. We'll fall to the ground. Yeah, yeah it's not so bad. Now I can just Oh, you know what? What? I don't want to put it on there yet. 
Or Why? No, I do. I. Yeah, you do. I just want to put on the floor. Because those are my landing pads. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not too bad. I can move that one right now. Jump up there. Yeah, you can get the seven. And it's easier to jump up there now. Yeah, yeah. We got this, boys and girls. Uh, one, two, well, it doesn't matter which one. You're going to jump on the one that it's not on. Hooray! Okay, now i got to get those off of there. Why? Well, I don't, I don't necessarily get them off. They don't, they won't fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> not the best of me. I know how to do it. It'll be fast. The way that the one and zero twist make it makes it look like you're like uh, doing like ac acrobatics, even though all you're doing is pressing the button. But it looks like you're being <laughs> way more tricky. coordinated than you actually have to be. Yeah. This 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 area is an issue. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. Oh my god! I didn't want to get shot. Ouch! Yeah, ouch indeed. Uh, so here's the key that I just noticed. Yeah. You have to arrange it so that your one and zero are stacked on top of each other. Oh, you noticed that? To go that? up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Still. Yeah, no, not uh, not meaning to suggest that it's easy. Oh, I wonder if I can do it all from the platform. Bullet? Levels are hard enough without the bullet. <laughs> ah! Come on, bullet. Do your thing. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my. That was terrible. I don't know how I survived that. Okay, which way are you going? And oh, oh, there we go. Oh, God. Okay. These bullets I have to watch out now. Oh, to the right. Oh, not that way. Italy. Okay. Jump. <laughs> it's so hard, so close when it's, it's at so that close. level. Okay, number seven. I like it when it's far away. It's so much easier to dodge it. Uh, okay, now I have to go up, up, up. Much easier to get up that plot part there. Come on, bullet. This one's gonna be a little bit trickier. Yep. Uh, Madu Simi, is this an original game? Like, 
This is like so creative. Unbelievably creative. I've never seen a game like this. Catchy too. Yeah. It's not it's not uh not too weird. Not too oh my god. It's not paying attention to the bullets. Almost there, everybody. Okay, bullet. Bullets aren't too bad to avoid if they're not near you. If they are near you, it's very hard. Because you have no reaction time. Almost there. Once I get it to this bottom level, it's so much easier because you can't fall. Oh, oh no! Thrust uh, says someone said he played it on a Tandy. Oh, okay, so it is based, oh my god, based off of something. Is it a homebrew on a Tandy, or is it an older game? Get down there. Oh god, go to the right, go to the left. Thank you. I think you can push them all at the same time. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can actually. That's true. Run! Uh, Woo! Level 14! Time for the pain. Castle be Thunder. Now we gotta do addition again? No. no, no. Uh. The big old wall there. Lots of elevators. Bullets right below you. Oh, I haven't really done anything. Um, and they're all at top, so I need four, three, seven. Um, and I see the four one. is up the, at the top of the platforms. So that'll be the first one, and then I got to push it down to the two and the one to get the three. And then I'll avoid being the shot. Yep. <laughs> then I got to uh, open the elevators to get them up again. I'm guessing. And that one's handy up there because you need it uh, to get the 24. Oh. Should I keep it up there? 16 and... Um, I don't know if you can... 8. Eight. Can it. How do we even get up there? Well, you can't jump through those platforms. Okay. Some platforms you can. Some you can't. Them's a... Uh, you can't. Right. Oh, no, you, oh, you can. can. It's just on the edge. Wait, you want it on the 16 at some point anyways. But I don't know if you want it there yet. See the 24 with the down arrow? Yes. So the 8. Go to the 8 and see what it says. Well, it's see going happened. to change if you go to the, the elevators to down? Or uh, add down? Oh, there we go. That's how you get it down. Now I need to unlock the... Twelve? No, that's eight and four. I only have one thing. No, I can get it down now, so let's get that down. So I don't think I need sixteen anymore. Oh, cool. but I can't. I'm just too big. Or not in the right position. Yeah, you gotta be tall to do it. Uh, you want to get it on that green, and then I think it's gonna hop its way up, but I don't know. Oh, okay. oh what? You got shotted. I didn't even see it. Yeah, because it came right below you, and it was all like, pow, right between the legs. Pow. Oh, uh... What VBG I Double Down says my tandy comment was about Rocky's boots. Okay. <laughs> what? 
So it, hey, it wasn't. It, this is still. It, it's it's possibly still. Original. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I don't even know what you did there. Uh, somehow avoided the bullet. Somehow uh, avoided the bullet. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So I need to get that down to the point. The point. Here comes bullet time. Bullet time. But not that kind of bullet time. Much less. Fun bullet time. <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to get this bouncy thing up here? You got to push it over. When it bounces. No, not then. When it bounces. No, that not that way. And I have to do this eight, nine times. So once you know how to do it, it won't be as uh, infuriating. Remember, you got to pull it. Try Oh my god, you have to do it at the right time. Jump, grab it and jump up. <laughs> it, it, uh, you can't, you can't do that. Oh my god. Come on. Gotta figure out how to work it. Catch it in midair, so if I let it bounce, then I... There. Okay, I got it. You touch it when it's in midair. You don't pull it in mm -hmm. midair. Oh my god, the bullet was like following me. Ah! Remember, it always wants to go so you're not centered on it. There we go. Oh, that opened. Okay. Good. Why did it open? Uh, because there was an 8. It was oh, 12. 8 and 12 and you were on both. Yeah, yeah, and the 16 isn't covered anymore. I was... I was it's going to be very hard really to... That bullet is moving now. I, I knew it. I thought I saw it move. What it you changed mean directions. It started going one way, and then it went another way. Watch, oh. watch that bullet. So I need a two and a one. A one and a two and a <laughs> Right? A four yeah. and a two and a one. Yeah. Pushing the block up the elevator is a lot of work, nostalgic, but I, I figured probably, it out. You'll, probably you'll get quicker at it. I was bouncing it one after the other. I, I, I got a good rhythm. So I, think I, I mean, I would it. never get quicker at it because I would give up. <laughs> <laughs> Say, F this game. F this game. Bad camera. <laughs> <laughs> Giving up. That's not what we do here. We don't give up on games. We give up on other things, but not on gaming. Not on gaming. <laughs> um, we... On games that don't let you have infinite lives, we do rage resets. That's, what That's we right. Do. Rage. Raging of the reset. Yeah. See, this is... Fuck. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bullets! <laughs> Okay, we're doing a speed run of this one. Boom, cool. Boom, 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 boom. Don't forget to do the uh, the 24. Oh, yeah. I was, I was stuck. Back over. Oh god. 
somehow, if you do that, if you go crazy on it, is it landing on it? You, you're, you're, you're not. You need to get away from it <laughs> and put yourself in the like it. It shifts around based on where you are, so you have to like. Boing, 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 boing. So you have to get on the right of it if you want to push it very far to the left, because it's because if you're part way on it, it's going to go all the way to the <laughs> direction you were going. That's right. And you don't want that. Okay, now we go down the slide. Hulk smash. And there's the rage. <laughs> oh, the rage. <laughs> it's bad. Hulk smash indeed. The truth is, you're, there's no chance you're going to get it on your first try. The only no. way you're going to get it is by getting to the point where you're bored of trying to do the thing because you've done it so many times that it's... It's like a normal tedium, not an abnormal tedium. And look out for the bullet. Whee. Look how fast I am. Oh, my God. oh, that, bullet. oh that bullet. Oh, that bullet. It's so precocious. Go to the one. Bullet. Yeah. I have to. As soon as I see that. Stop it. <gasps> Bullet. Just go. Into you. <laughs> but it took you all. It took you very little time to get back to where <sighs> you were there this time. Uh, yes, but. Yes, but. The skills. You're building the skills and. Super skills. Skills that I don't. You know, particularly want to build. Glad you're building it on me. <laughs> oh god. Okay, move over to the left, right, with the thing. Keep moving, okay? Yeah. And and then wait for it. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Now you're actually on the right of it. Is it on? It's it? not on no. it. No. You need another pixel. There you go. Boing. These stairs are fun. Yeah, I really like this game except for the bullet, I, and it would stop me from playing it. <laughs> the bullet I, is infuriating. I mean, I I'm not saying it's bad. No, it's I'm not a bad, bad. I am a bad gamer, <laughs> and that's why I wouldn't play it with the bullet. But I couldn't go past this level with the bullet because I would just. So is there a, a kids rage, version but... where there's no bullet? Yes, there is. He said, "Oh, not yet." He said that there's a practice version that he's oh. like a training version without the bullet. Well, that'd be good. Boing, 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 and then avoid the bullet. <laughs> Come with me. No! <gasps> no! What? It fell down. It fell down. And you need a three? I need a twelve. I can't get past it. it. It normally just automatically just goes oh, I uh, on the thing, but it was not I gotcha. timed up. And it fell down. Now, now I have to be careful of that. Stop it. Just let go. I, I think you're just so mad that you're refusing to learn. I refuse to learn. <laughs> Is, you, I do. You're doing the sort of insane thing that I do when I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, I do put these games in a very specific order on the show. <laughs> on purpose. I knew this would be a, a very long game. Because oh. I really wanted to play all the levels. No bullet! Because I knew this would be a super fun game. It's less... Oh my god! Less about... B. 
the um, addition and, and the binary than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot more math. have to again that's fine it doesn't take long two more times it's Just the two bullet more times. two more times true without being bulleted which way is that bulleted <laughs> well, yeah uh, double down city uh i would have punched a hole in something by now <laughs> i do you concur with that uh, sentiment uh, no, because I would have been like, oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. Screw this. And I would have <laughs> quit. Off the, off the game would have went. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, it, I like the first uh, eight levels without bullets. <laughs> 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 and even this, like, ladder thing, like, I get it. And, you, and like I said, you're building the skills. So, like, like, doing this thing isn't super hard for you anymore. Like, you've gotten to the point where you can almost trivialize it. Almost. No, no, you, you really can. You're getting... You're being frustrated and and not resetting when you should reset. But... Uh, Bullet! Ah! And down you go. Down we go. Down we go. So you have to press the button to move it, right? Uh, no. Just be near it? You just touch it. Um, you have to press the button to get out of it, to get away from it. To jump? To mm -hmm. jump. Jump gets you off of it. Mm -hmm. it. That's an easy way to get off of it anyway. Why bullets? Which way are you coming? Of course you're coming that way. Fall, fall, fall. Four, here I come. Unleash. Just a bullet. Jump over bullet. Pull that guy down next. Come on. You two, come on. Where did, where what do I need to do now? Before so, I pull that guy down. There's a 14 on the screen. That's the end. Okay, so what adds up to 14? Uh, uh one. You need a four. Three. You need a... You've got... How much? You've got three right now. Yeah. An eight. Um, a four is twelve. What is that on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Twelve and a two. Eight. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. You had to leave the one on the four up top and not bring it all the way down to the bottom to put on the one. This is why, this is okay. why handguns are are restrictive <laughs> in Canada. That's right. Because otherwise right now, James would shoot himself. Because I messed up and I have to do it all over again. <sighs> so look at the chat. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> <laughs> he loves the rage. <laughs> loves it. <laughs> Well, this will be the final time I play this level because I'm going to get it this time. I enjoy your confidence. <laughs> you enjoy my confidence? <laughs> Do you believe it? Uh, I think it is entirely possible. I think too. As long as the bullet doesn't get me, I think... I um, I'm going to I agree. So fine. long as you don't fail to do it, I think you will succeed in doing it. How was that coffee? How was that cat? Cats are totally off screen. <laughs> Cats, get on screen. I'm sure everybody is leaving because of this <laughs> craziness that I'm playing. <laughs> or are they all sticking around because they know they can watch 
<laughs> you're, doing, no, you're doing the, the thing that you do. It's the bullet. I'm trying yeah. to get a away from bullet. Okay, good. 12 went away. I... It's too late now. But if you have to redo this again, I would recommend not dragging any of them to the bottom. I have to, to get the one in... Like, this one I have to. No. Yeah, one in... One, one, one in of them three. eventually has to get to the bottom. Oh, right, because you need three. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. has to be this one. Yeah, okay. I was... Yeah, now yeah, I don't. Yeah, gotcha. Now yeah, I yeah. don't have to do that. Now, no, now you have to not do that. You have to get it up to the four. Yeah, and, and it needs to stay at the four. Yeah. Well, the reason I was saying maybe don't drag it down if you don't have to is then if one accidentally goes down, then that can be the <laughs> one that goes to the bottom. Uh, true. But, but you're, you're right. You really do have to move that one to the bottom. Because rules. Ah! I almost got stuck there. I saw that. It made me sad. Yeah, me too. Uh oh, trying to be calm. I see the bullet. I see it. It's fine. At least the music's happy. Very happy music. Here we go. Over here. Don't do that. Saga! Making noises. <laughs> Is it helping? No, it's not helping at all. It's on. It's Is on. It? It's on the four. Okay. You can tell, but oh, it's not on the four anymore. I almost pushed it off. I know. Go for the bullet. That was connect. too close. Way too close. Okay. Jump. Jump oh. Leave it there. I have to get Leave it there. Better for it to be on That's that true. platform than. Uh, no, no, leave it there. Leave it there. Uh, okay. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I haven't used these platforms at all. Are they decoration? <laughs> okay, what? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. What do I What do I need to do now? I, I think you should move it up. I think you should move it up because being on the bouncy thing means that all sorts of madness can happen when you're trying to do two of them. Yeah, I could accidentally now, now, now push run away. it off. There you go, yeah. I need to get it on the eight, the four, and the two. And then... Uh, and then I leave this level forever. Yeah. Forever. Bullet. like pushing it but not I wasn't doing the same uh, method as before Time to get back to it bullet comes What's happening? you're trying to pull it when it's easier to push it Just get up there, and then I can deal with this bullet. <gasps> Why? That's better. Anyway. 
Oh my god. Push that one to the eight. There we go. There we go. Okay, now, now the trick is getting over <laughs> them without dragging them. This is like the biggest trick. Oh my god. Uh, no! No. This is the biggest this, trick. This is the hardest part of the whole game. It and is. it's the last thing. Okay. Uh, I'll go down the street and buy a firearm and you can kill yourself. Yeah. This is a mechanic that needs to be practiced more before you reach this point. <laughs> Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yes, it is. Well, you need it on the four and the eight. Wait! No! Fourteen? Yeah. Yeah, because you have to hold them on the four and the eight. Yeah. It's the final one. Is that bomb jack? Oh, it is Bomb Jack in the background. I was like, what is that thing in the background? And the beer's dropping half. It's on the right guy. Still some people watching. Hi, people watching. This is definitely the hardest level so far. Not hardest. Oh my god, see it turned around. You saw that. It is the hardest. Uh, because it has like the physical uh, aspect. Yeah. It's not the it's not it the puzzle isn't even remotely hard. No, it's there's, not. There's no puzzle at all. Uh, no, it's uh, the puzzle. Oh my god! What? It fell what? down. Yeah, but you need the first one to go down. No. I have to that I have to get rid of that twelve. You probably don't notice the 12 but uh, oh. I have to be on the floor oh yeah yeah you have to get rid of the 12 and then drag it down yeah 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 <laughs> James has really milk in this level milking it I don't want to be on it I want it to be finished there's no mystery to it anymore there's no I, I have solved all the skills that I need to solve for this level. Mm -hmm. I'm just not good at them. <laughs> I guess. No, you're actually really good at them. And you haven't solved them all. No, no, really. That's I, why I know what to do. Though. No, no, but what I mean is that the you've solved most of them, but that trick at the end, I don't even know what you're supposed to do yeah, to get over true. them without moving them. That it's is like true. it's I, like I haven't solved that. It's very difficult. I have to be on the right-hand side of them, but they they clump together. Yeah, yeah. That's that's. It's like the hard they're part. they're magnets. They're like weird little magnets <laughs> that like you're trying dominoes with magnets in them. Yeah. <laughs> and you've got to like put them just within the. This uh, is not after dark, but it is the last uh, game, so. Um, so I can play as long as I want. <laughs> because there's nothing after this. Okay, this is, see, that's yeah, what I yeah. need to do. Yeah. And I have failed to do that twice. And it's because uh, it often happens automatically. It's just so fast that it's like, yeah. oh my god, it already pushed it through. Yeah. Oh. Go. I'm just cluing into why that keeps happening, and it's because there's a lack of platform for you. Yeah, I can fall all the way down, which is good to go down fast. But yeah, I usually yeah. don't want to go down fast. Uh, what yeah. am I doing? I'm not doing Either, the right thing. Yeah, you need to stand on it too. Yeah, that felt like you got lucky. <laughs> you gotta go down to the bottom. Oh my god. Well, I can demonstrate. There we go. <laughs> Castle Defunder. 
That's a play on words of uh, his other game. And that's what Castle that, that's what that is from, yeah, that he said. Oh, okay. Now, what am I doing? I'm dragging, right? Okay. Up to the four. I know you made a good song for a video game when it's the same song and you play for hours and it's fine. Oh, push, push, push. I'm push just saying, when you do it from this side, you just jump up one after one, True. one after the other, and when you try to pull it, it doesn't work. It's worth it to like Ooh, fall down does, and jump up the platform. That does help, actually. Yeah. Seen you do it so many times. Oh. Ah. Ah. Um. Now I have to go down. You get over there. No, not that far. Oh, is it on it? Yeah. It oh, now it's not. No, it's not. It's not on it. No, it that was, was you. Yeah. Oh. That's tricky. Wee. Oh, wee. Oh, come on. Wee. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't need to deal with it right now, but. Um, Yeah, practice jumping over that thing now. And then, if you can jump over one... Because you weren't even able to get over it, the one. I can't. What do you mean? And oh, you yeah. can't jump over it. You have to pull... You have to be on the right-hand side and kind of manipulate them that way, for sure. Yeah. And, because you right. risk pushing them off. Yeah, yeah, you're and then the you're left. done. That's what happened last time, right? Yep. there. Could have died. Need to be on the hold them both or there. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. <laughs> uh, are we done? Oh, yeah. We're done. Because <laughs> there's codes. There's codes for each level, so I can get back to this. Yeah. Um, and I know exactly what to do. This, this is uh, after dark stuff. Oh, the castle defunder is <coughs> actually a password to this level. What? That's a password? How do you actually exit out of this game? Or you just don't. Is there an exit? Uh, you hold the... Yeah, that seems to be... Uh, oh, there's restarts. I just told you. R for restart. X for exit. Q for quit. Power button for power off. That would get me out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Matus, uh, Mato Simi, oh, uh, shift escape. Start select option. Oh, so, uh, oh, is there no passwords? Where's. Option on the title screen. Okay. Oh, okay. So you just type in the. Ah! Yeah, yeah. It's gonna get copyright and striked. Um, absolutely astounding game. Really cool. Matto Simi. It is yeah, addictive. Cool. It is one of those games where you go, I know how to do this. Yeah. It's just 
damn hard to do it. Um, <laughs> the mechanics of it, the the little twist of oh, it's you have to make binary things and complete tiny little puzzles and yeah, great additions to it. Absolutely astounding additions over top of the um, first time we played the game because it was just a couple screens. I'd like to see some speed run. That won't be coming from me, not on this game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, extremely original. When people say, oh, you can't make original games anymore. This, this is so original. Yep. There's multiple levels of originality in this game. In the um, adding up the numbers, in the pulling and pushing of the blocks. Yep. Um, I mean, the, bullet, the bullets are from Jumpman Jr., but still, they, they add quite a bit to the game. Yeah. You were great. Was I? Well, yay. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I did okay. I made it level 14. That's not bad when 17 is borked and nobody's really gone through that. I know a lot of people were having trouble with um, a lot of the levels. Like, let's just take a look through um, some of the complaints. <laughs> it's not too. It's not too much to look through, so... I just want to see where everybody got stuck. There we go. Uh, there, are ten, there are one zero types of people in this world. Those who understand binary and those who don't. <laughs> and those who wonder what the six is in the binary. Complaints, not comments. <laughs> complaints. Oh, yeah, complaints. A lot of people are complaining. It's too hard. It's too hard. Uh, thanks for the nice words. Well, these are the. This is before, before the updates. So let's go to um, after the new version. Uh, that's it's, it's after I played it. So there's when I played the uh, the early version. Um, then he posted it right after mine. Six months after. Uh, that's level four. I really like the game. Even uh, I can't get how to solve level 11. Um, has a chance to win the Fiji, Fuji Cup. I think it has a very good chance. Game is great. Stuck on a level 11. What was level 11? Did I get stuck on that too? Where it was like that tricky... You had to pull no, the that block? No, I think that was nine. Oh, was it nine? Stuck in level 14. Yes, that's the one we got stuck on. I think it was 14. Uh, I'm at level. I'm at 13. I'm starting to hate the game. <laughs> Difficulty level twist between 10 and the rest is simply cruel. <laughs> it makes the game unbalanced. The worst thing is tr something traversing the border, shooting at the character too often. Something is a traversing the border. I really hate it. I bet majority of players will not see all the funny stuff because they'll give up earlier due to anger. A pity. <laughs> I'll still give it a try anyway. <laughs> Jumpman bullet, yes. I think it's a bit too frequent. I think it's just right. Like, it's enough to interrupt you, but there's enough pause where you can get stuff done. And then you have to deal with the bullet. Puzzles are great. Things shooting at me? Not so much. That's what makes the game. Without that bullet... You can breeze through this quite quick, but it, the it, bullet. It, but what, what, the someone saying that though, is someone looking for a puzzle game, not a platform right. game. Right. I. You like, like platform I games, platform. so you like it. That's yeah. cool. Look, there's lots of different types of games, and people like them. And, uh, yeah. Like Tanya likes puzzle games, so she would love the puzzle aspect of this, and just having them both together. The thing nostalgic is that James has practice. Because of the jump man mechanic, <laughs> yeah. a type of bullet, he has lots of practice jumping that bullet. Yes. I I would have, yeah, moving the blocks. I, I would not be able to move the blocks because I keep dying from the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's it's really cool game. Like, and I love the way the uh, character moves. One second. Oh, come on. Oh, never mind. Um, Ivory Tower Collection is so weird to, for me to see Atari Age forums with that dark theme James uses. Yeah, 
I, I go for dark themes all the time if I can because the bright light in my face is it's just too you're much. just such a dark shady character oh, you're so brooding right. and yeah that's right the puzzles are great things should I'm in not so much stuck at level 11 oh it's oh, this one yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean there's a lot of tricks to this one but yeah. after you figure it out don't trap yourself and those things make elevators yeah you can do that um yeah the the last bit it's like I'm not even sure. That's I don't know. I don't. I don't know mechanically. Like, we don't even know how you choose to put them on. It's oh. not just tricky. It's that like those two glom together like magnets, and it's but like you can manipulate the block to be on the left hand side of you or on the right hand side of you by turning around. Mm -hmm. So I think that's part of it. You have to get. One, I have to get one on the right hand side, one on the left, then jump up there, attach to the first one, turn that one around so it's on the left of you without dropping it, then detach yourself from it, then attach yourself to the right one, make sure you don't push it off, then manipulate it to go on the left hand side of you. Easier said than done. But you done. have to do that all at the end and yeah. with uh, one mistake dropping it off the cliff. And, and not being able to to reverse after that. And the bullet coming after you and you having no time or room. Yeah. Yeah. That, it's, yeah if you're stuck between those two. Well, if you're stuck between those two, you you're can dead. do the vibrate thing. You can and maybe not die. I usually got out of it, but a couple times when oh. I was doing this, it, oh. it did kill me. Oh, okay. Um, the history of video game anger is an interesting one. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a fine line between being challenged and addiction to abuse. I recall NES era of gaming being particularly punishing in many instances. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's such thing as called NES hard. And that's when it's like, no, you don't get any extra lives. And the game is super difficult. And when you make it up to the next thing that's super difficult, you will die. And then you'll have to do it all over again to make it up to that boss. To figure out the pattern, you'll die again. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Um, I think I've talked before about X Wing, the first X Wing, so. and there's this one mission where you really do need to use the Force. Uh, by which, in this case, it just you need to have played the game so many times that you literally know where the bad guys are going to show up in space mm. and be heading there before they arrive. And as soon as they arrive, lock on them and fire your torpedo, and then assume you will destroy <laughs> them and start flying towards the next oh place that, that someone's going to fly in. Yeah, it was it was it was crazy. You're literally and the, using the mini map that you're using has almost no information on it. There's a couple of little dots. You just have to like, you just have to do it enough times that you, oh yeah, it was crazy. There's like two or three little white dots, and you orient yourself that way. It was crazy. The thing that was pissing me off in reality, I was playing the game in Altira for a change. It was level 14 or 15. I bet it was 14. I hit some combination of keys close to the arrow keys in the number pad. Damn emulator warm started on me. Oh, and ended up at a blue screen. Oh, there's no rewind in Altira. I don't think. No, there's a rewind in Stella. So if you mess up or something goes wrong, uh -oh. you can rewind. But if you kick yourself out of the emulator, it's all gone. VHZC rules, dying and starting again. Yeah, VHZC rules. Yeah, but VHZC games are easy enough, for me anyway, that you can make it through the whole game um, with the number of lives he gives you. They're not super easy, but yeah. Have uh, VHZC have a def def definite pattern on each screen, though. Once you know you can find it, it'd be much easier to get through his games. Yeah, and as you learn his games, you'll know, oh, it's that type of game or type of screen. Oh, it's the Pong screen or it's the jump and shoot screen or whatever. Yeah, pattern in this case of his games being mainly timing. Yeah. Um, let's see in this one. Life is so hard with binary parasite. <laughs> now you know where this comes from. It is hard. Um. Let's see. Level 14 on the ninth try. And that's with him making the game, building it, testing it. And he still takes nine times to finish that level. <laughs> it Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Uh, more balance is needed with the shooting thing. 
I disagree. I think it's it's the right amount of balance. Making it to level 14. Um, hey, crazy cat. He likes to smack things he doesn't understand. Smack. Uh, what's next? A text adventure when you have to avoid being shot while typing. Uh -huh. uh, okay. On level. Has anybody made it to... No, you're distressing. I'll probably go, is this, oh, Mr. Fish, I'll go with gun fired at intervals of one minute. However, I do find the smoke and continuous foghorn options rather tempting. I guess those are other things in games you could put. Um, anything else? <laughs> we'll give it a try. If it's too hard and frustrating, I'll do what I always do. Play it once, then never again. <laughs> That's my revenge on Atari 8-bit games that are too hard or frustrating. I'd never play them again. Should I create a folder? Never again. <laughs> or just F you. Uh, after reading all the comments, one thing is clear to me. They've never played Jumpman Jr. 100% <laughs> correct. You have to deal with those constantly on Jumpman Jr. That is the bane of your existence yeah, yeah. in that game. Uh, and Mr. Fish says, actually, Jumpman Jr. is one of my top all-time games. Well, then you shouldn't have a problem with this game. It, that's the difficulty in this game is those bullets. Otherwise, you're just pulling blocks around and going, oh, it fell off. Oh, well, go pick it up again. No time. I don't think you're in a position to, uh, to <laughs> give an objective view. You uh, uh, you already have those skills. Uh, uh, true. <laughs> but this guy says he did play Jumpman Jr. a lot. But anyways, and he's, he's, putting having in, trouble. he's putting in the training mode, which has no bullets. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like you can't do more idea. than that. You can't do more than that. No. The bullets are the thing that's making people nuts. You take the bullets out, and like you can't solve it more than doing the thing people asked for, and also leaving in the things that some other people want. Like it's, it's uh, win. Yeah. You finish uh, the game, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> on easy mode. On easy mode. I like the game on CRT. It's quite fun. On LCD, the shots are a little tough. Maybe a queue of some time to help. Uh, I guess it's how it upscales. I mean, we have. Maybe on the LCD, is is his LCD like not showing the? Because it does have a warrant a cue. It, it depends on your quality of output. If you have RF oh, yeah. output or composite or S video, like we have, uh, RGB output from this, which is like the absolute top, with a very good upscaler on a very big TV. Mm -hmm. So not very big, but big. Um, uh, playing at PAL speeds makes it easier. Uh, hopefully NTC colors and speed correction will make it into an update. Uh, and then he says, I'm not sure what you mean. Speed adjustments, color adjustments are already there for NTSC. Okay. And that's us playing. I keep moving forward. It's challenging, but impossible. You have to be patient. So that was level 13. That, mm -hmm. one, was, that one was just long, moving all those down. I have a technical problem with number 14. That's one we were on. It's not that difficult, except certain moment one has to jump over a box. There's, you can't jump over it. Uh, and then you're doomed. It's at the very end of the level. So if I fuck it, I have to repeat it all over again. Yeah, you do. And I wonder if there's a way to do it. Uh, there is a way. <sighs> Reveal it contents. Should we do it? We have theories. Many theories. I, I want to see it. To get over the box, you have to jump more than once and fast. Oh, he's doing like, dun, 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 and then jump over? Hmm. It's not the thing I was going to do. After you get over the box, remember it's a puzzle game, so bring your mind to a different... Well, that's the end of the game. After you jump over those boxes. Maybe they're referring to something else. Anyway, I don't understand that. After you get over the boxes. Hmm. Team. ASCR net. Last night I stayed up to playing to uh, got to level 17. I hope I today I find how to pass it. <clears throat> oh boy. So there's a 9, a 1, and oh my god. How do you even do anything? How do you even get anywhere? Can you jump up to that? I'm guessing you could jump up to that and then that. Then you get to the one, release that, uh, 
and then you put it on the eight and you're on the one release the nine uh, and then you start breaking down walls bit by bit and destroying things okay Uh, be par careful with posting screenshots as they contain level passwords and he still hasn't corrected it, but, but I mean, if somebody wants to cheat, they're going to cheat, right? Because the passwords are the level names. Um, and if you don't, if you want to jump to level 17, then there you go. Snake was cake, but I really need a refunder for my home that might allow destruction of boxes that fall. What? Uh, it took me a while to get past a level 14. I post the solution in spoiler tags. Did it help you? Saw it, haven't played it yet. Uh, sounds like we're thinking on similar lines. Okay, good, good, good. So that is it for today. Some great games today. Crownland, absolutely amazing platformer. I did not finish it, so it's one for the After Dark. I'm gonna add it into there. Gold Diggers, great puzzle game as well. Um, not, I mean, we only made it up to level 21 and there's 128 levels or something. So I'm guessing they get much, 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 much harder with the addition of extra creatures and stuff like that. Binary Parasite, uh, amazing as well. Another one for After Dark, um, to get past level 14, etc. How many levels were there? Do you remember if I read it out, or if it was posted. On Binary Parasite? Yeah. He said level 17 has a bug. He didn't say that that was the last level. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if he's still in the chat or not. Cool stuff today. Yes, thank you so much. It was a great selection of games. Um, so uh, coming up uh, tomorrow night, or tomorrow afternoon, I'm guessing. You sniffing the toe that you bit? Yeah, you bad cat. Um, Around noon, we're going to do uh, participate in the 2023 Atari Homebrew High Score Contest Round 3 with Ein Vader and Load Runner. There's some really high scores. Should try the children in After Dark. We, I swear we played the children long, long time ago. Let me see. Children. No. I remember looking at it. Children of Hurin, that's a 2600 game. And I know the Children is a 8-bit game. So, yeah, I'll have to look at that. Um, yeah, so Invader and Load Runner. You played as part of 10-liners. Oh, that's why it's not listed here, because there's so many 10-liners. Mm. Um, and then on Tuesday, we're going to be playing uh, Jalaga La Bay de Mor. And Classic Kong Complete. So that's a Jaguar game. Oh, 17 has, just has a cosmetic bug. You have beaten nearly half the levels. So let's say 30. Nearly half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So lots of levels. Oh my god. Maybe. That is a lot of levels. Um, and uh, then we have some Lynx games and 2600 games and a whole bunch of stuff coming up. And uh, ColecoVision Special maybe end of this month next month um with a live interview with eduardo mello from opcode he is like the coleco vision homebrew guy puts out tons and tons of games um and jaguar rotary controller special coming up as well probably sooner than later and we'll put it after uh 2600 show or something yeah, so thanks for tuning in. I hope everybody saw the Bubble Bobble for 7800 that we had the world premiere of last show. It's lots of fun. Um, so thanks for tuning in, everyone. And thank you, Matt Simi, for tuning in as well and giving us some helpful hints and for making that amazing game. Good luck in the Fuji Cup contest. Uh, I think it has a very good shot of getting in. Top. It's really good, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Um, let's see if I can find. There's a bunch of games in the Fuji Cup. Let's see. Fuji Cup. Oh, I think I had it there. Oh, there we go. It's in uh, Polish. But we know what games they are. Because the games are in English. 
So Plan 2B, we haven't played that one yet. Um, it's a very old school game, old school European 8-bit game. There's tons and tons of screens. You have to collect things. Uh, Gold Diggers we just played, very fun. Uh, Twin Snakes run we haven't played, but you're manipulating two snakes through a maze at the same time. Uh. Pretty good. Space Taxi's in it. That is going to be hard to compete with. That is a really good game. Um, Binary Parasite, obviously astoundingly good. I'm very, very original. Probably one of the few original games actually in this list inertia we played that super hard isometric game really really hard very good though uh alaska opta you're, you're falling down collecting items avoiding others rocket nika you're staring left and right avoiding things enduro uh port of a 2600 game cracky uh, uh multi uh, platform, cross-platform uh, game. In Inufuto makes great games. We've played this on the show. I think he's made about 12 games so far on like 40 different platforms for each game because hmm. he has um, a compiler that automatically spits them out. He made the compiler too. Hmm. But he does have to customize them for each platform. Uh, Mitris, uh, I think we played this on the show. It's obviously... Tetris. This is not in competition, but there's a Last Ninja work in progress. So a uh, good mix. Good mix there. Um, but I think you have a pretty good chance of getting into the top. But there's some tough ones there. Hi, Atari. So let's uh, say goodbye to everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Matosimi, Dan, if you see, Nostalgic, Vitoko, Al Nefer, Chalcedony Mal, uh dan avc actually my twitch show scheduled at three so i could probably do it i have no idea what that's referring to oh i have my own twitch so sometime as you're after dark tomorrow i can push in an hour or so that's up to you if you want to conflict with it or not conflict with it or watch our show move yours um yeah noon tomorrow ish i think we can do it in there i was hoping to unveil my new bubble bubble controllers today but the usps has different ideas oh my goodness you bubble bubble controllers. He was talking about that last episode. Everybody was like, no, don't bite. Bad kitties. <laughs> um, <coughs> now you're pressing the space bar. They're up to no good. Uh, Ivory Tower Collections, Vitoko, VVG Double Down, Mother 3. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Al Nefer, Rendered Ghost, Chalcedony Mao, uh, Thrust. Metal Lunar 7, Al Nefer, Buck Owens, Kibito Kenzo, Dios Kilos, Super Machio. Thank you for tuning in for the first time. Who else? And that's it. And all to We're all the lurkers. For the first time or whatever. Comment. Yeah. Well, he said, uh, he's like just tuned in uh, and he uh, uh, followed. Yeah yeah. 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 So that's awesome. Looking forward to seeing your Bubble Bubble controllers. Um, definitely post them in the Atari Age forums. And um, and then uh, also post the link as well here next next show so we can check them out. Uh, we will be back uh, tomorrow for an After Dark and then Tuesday for a new show. So definitely tune in and have a great weekend. And we will uh, see you soon. Bye, everyone. Say bye, Darcy. Bye, Darcy. Bye, Darcy. Bye, Darcy.